All right. Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club. Stop and chat. Today we have a very special, special, special returning guest. Mr. Jamie Foy is back with What's us. Good? What's yeah. good? Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Kong? How are you, bro? Been good. Been chilling. Get another Sody back here. Another so Listen, yes. and we were just talking about that before the show. Literally, you came on the nine club and you won Sodi. Huh? Yeah. What, look just, at that. No, he came on the show. The came on the, the show. Year. And then literally exactly a year later, he received much, that because yeah, yeah. he was yeah. on the <laughs> show. We started That's the year off right. This yeah. is what I'm getting at, yeah. Kelly. Flame, yeah. huh? You know, he came, what did you come out with? Like three parts that year? I, three, think, I, think, like it was, that? I think it was like three parts. Three yeah. parts yeah. and a nine club part. I mean, yeah, dude, like you're killing it. And the vocal part. You're killing it. Yeah. Amazing. Dude. But congrats on that. I don't think I've seen. I've seen you since, but I don't really. It's cool. I, I like bumping into you, man. I bumped into you at the, uh, what is that, the, the Phoenix Am one time, mm -hmm. you know? Let me ask you a question. When, when you came here, you were Am. Yeah. How long after did you, did you turn pro that year too? Yeah, I think I turned pro like in the, towards the end of that year. Oh, like yeah, okay. like like probably like six months after this. I think. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it was it's pretty a, quickly after he was on the show. I was gonna yeah, say because it was I like six months. Yeah, think you could win Sodi with that. Yeah, maybe be pro, right? yeah. Now being pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that would have been a first. Has, hasn't been done yet. I feel like. I mean, you could have done that. He was, skating, he was skating at a pro level the entire time. Right, right, yeah. right, right. We actually have the uh, the footage here when they turned you pro. It must have been a good oh, yeah. feeling though, walking into uh, Baker oh, Boys. Yeah. With uh, Phelps there Phelps and everything. There. Yeah. That's yeah, amazing. My bro. sister, my mom. <laughs> oh, that's your sister? Yeah, no. I had two, both my sisters there. That was like the surreal thing. Like when they did it at the, uh, like at the filming for the final episode of The King of the Road, everything. Yeah. It was funny because there was like, uh, J Bone and Ellington said they had to go do something over at, like, I was like, oh, I'm just going to roll with you guys over there, right? Because we were hanging out at Baker Boys, just skating before. And he's like, oh, no, we got to go early. We got to get ready for something, like a special reward or special award or we're giving out. I was like, oh, uh, OK. And I was like, that was a little weird. <laughs> and then I was just like, and they're like, yeah, just meet us. Like, you drive over there and we'll meet you. Like, you'll meet us over there. I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I was just there for a while. And then we, I left and went over there. I was like, it's kind of weird. They didn't want me to roll with them. That's, that's so weird. I don't know why. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. All right, whatever. But then like. The whole thing was set up. I guess they got it all set up because my mom and my sisters flew out, which was Ooh. crazy. Like that was the. Did you know they I, were coming? No, nah, I didn't know. I was turning pro one, and then I didn't know at all. Like I was like, when they like pretty much gave me the whole surprise with the whole like segment, they were just like, my sisters walked out with my mom, and I was just like blown away. I love wow. that. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's so sick. Yeah, and then after that, like all the homies got. Uh, all squatted up and went to Baker Boys and we were just hanging out there for I don't know how long like three hours skating. you guys skate there yeah, yeah yeah we were skating yeah. hanging out got pizza like all just chilling having a great time did you say you board up that night uh no I actually didn't skate my pro board for I don't know how long I've only skated like three or four graphics of mine in my life really oh, That's yeah. A, yeah I find that interesting I think it's, all right no it was two before my recent trip to Florida I uh, for uh, my Dickies part. Yeah, uh, that was like almost all those. All, that whole part was filmed on my Big Boy Foy graphic, mm. and that was the f the first time I ever set one up was in Florida for that part. And I went, I skated like three of them. Was it weird? Wow, it was kind of. It was at first, it was a little weird. I've skated two graphics of mine before, but it was kind of because that was like the last one of my shape oh, that I God. had. Oh, because I usually I don't know. I just like I don't want to get mad while trying a trick and like see my name on a board <laughs> oh. and just be like. Like That's what amazing. the what am I doing? I like, don't deserve yeah, this. Yeah, like yeah. anything yeah. stupid like that. So I was just kind of like, want to just like, and I like all the, all the homies' graphics have like all the homies got really cool graphics too that sure. are on yeah. they're on Deathwish yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. So I'm just like, all right, I'm not gonna just like only skate my graphics. Right. And then right. it kind of just turned into oh, I'm just gonna only skate my homies' graphics. And then like sometimes it, I've skated like I, once we went to Florida and I got a new shape made. Baker or uh, bareback that makes Baker boy uh, Baker boards mm -hmm. were like oh like they just printed that graphic on and I was like oh dang <laughs> kind of bummed at first but I was like you know what I've never skated this graphic yet just so gonna ride it. Yeah, that's a good yeah. graphic though yeah I know it's super I'm, I love that graphic yeah. and everything I love a lot of the graphics I have and everything so it's just like you got a favorite 
Uh, kind of the big boy four is my yeah, favorite. I'd I say. like that one. Yeah, yeah. it's a good. One. It's yeah. weird though when you turn pro. I, I don't think I rode my pro board for for a while. Yeah, I just know? like and yeah. You, and then you kind of slowly. I'm like, eh, whatever. But it's nice too to skate your homies boards. Yeah, yeah. Also, that's the main thing I like. Is like amazing. a Pedro board. I set up. A, it makes me feel like a different. Yeah. Like, oh, I gotta. I have like this person's name on my board. I'm gonna go do something more like their style. Right, right. You know? yeah. dude. Like, you well, know? All you guys are insane. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But in in our own ways. Yeah, yeah you know, like. Kirby's like, all right, if I set up a Kirby board, it's like, damn, I could like Kick fly over something. Yeah, yeah I could yeah, like a- go fast and ollie a giant thing or like. Where's the bungee at? Do, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can go get a bungee spot. And then <laughs> so Pedro, a- Pedro's like, oh, I could just do anything. Yeah, like, yeah, I could literally yeah. just go crazy yeah, really. and like it makes sense. Like, the board just gas- gasses you up, kind of like. If you skate a different type of shoes yeah, or something, absolutely, for a while. You you feel, yeah. like a different style of shoes or something. Yeah. Did you grow up with Pedro? Yeah, I grew up with him like on and off because we were right in the same area, like ten minutes away. Ooh. But he had his skate park. I went like he went to, and then a skate park that I went to, and my, he would come to my skate parks like every so often. I never really go to his. Yeah. So I'd see him when he came to my park a lot, and like the park I grew up skating. That must be pretty sick to be able to like ride your friend's board. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's, yeah. Another, that's why I love yeah. it too. Yeah, exactly. That's the main thing. It's just yeah. like they're all my friends, and it's cool. Like all the new graphics they come up with and everything is like really cool. So it's mm-hmm. just like there's and there's so many graphics that come out. It's hard to like. When, I don't skate that many boards, so right. it's like you kind of just like end up skating all my homies' graphics. I so love that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's 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 rad to uh, you. Be set, you need to heel flip a gap, you know. Set yeah, up a mean exactly, board, you know, exactly. Man. You're like, yeah. okay, perfect. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah my, You've developed a really good heel flip over time, yeah, dude. dude. That fake heel watch, flip. Watching Neen, yeah, <laughs> dude. Watching Neen. Good. <laughs> all shouts out to Neen. Yeah, good person bro. to watch. Like, yeah. yeah, I don't yeah. like we don't do them the same way at all, but it's just like kind of just like. Like he has a completely different setup than I would for my type of heel flip, but just seeing how it is like done fluently was like kind of like what helped me a lot. Like just the like, execution. Yeah, watching of him it. like like right. put, not being scared to push his feet forward yeah, yeah, yeah. and being able to like yeah. get the board to come up and catch. He, like, yeah, yeah, I don't think anybody has it. He's a one of a kind heel yeah, flip. Yeah, yeah, he's got sure. the, the way that he does his legs for sure. It's, it's like, insane. The legs and like his him. setup. It's yeah. insane. Like you think he's going for a kick flip, but then he does a heel flip. He, the he one, the one you just did recently over a fucking hip, just recently, not that long ago. Yeah, yeah, man, that shit was fucked up. Yeah, when it's <laughs> off a bump, when it's thank yeah, you so much. Bro. When it's off a bump, it it's so fun it to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah, watching Neen do him like it made me appreciate him more, like so much more. Oh, because it doesn't. I mean, it's, yeah, it's perfection. I was like, oh, okay, it's like, a, a lot of people kick flip, not a lot of people heel flip. Nah, so, right. like, not at all. Yeah, I was just saying something like that not that long ago because I'm starting to see a lot more people do heel flips. Yeah, yeah, you know like good ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've noticed that too. Yeah, especially like into tricks too, which is like rare. And that's what Neen like. That's another thing for me is like. Starting to get into that a little more. It's just it's scary. I've always done like heel fifty fifties. Yeah, like front side, front side heel oh, flips yeah. insane. Because I would just imagine you kick, kick the rail. Yeah. Yeah. Hasn't he done like heel flip back lips and shit? Yeah, Neen, like, he's dude, got heel flip back over crooks, heel flip front God, crooks. Damn. He's heel flip back Smith, heel flip back lip. I always like heel flip back tail. Yeah, that's a good one. I think yeah. he's he's done he's done them on hubbas before, but he doesn't flip into it. It flips like. Yeah, it's just a weird like motion to like yeah. try to get down. Oh, Manny yeah. does that shit. Doesn't he do the yeah. heel flip 50 50 smiths yeah. and, and lift Front side, yeah. Manny's like the fun. one. Heel flip front five O's. Yeah. Yeah. Heel flip front smith. So awkward. Like, yeah. Very awkward. Crazy. A heel flip front smith is probably one of the scariest things you could probably try. Kick, sure. in like when that I like kick the, the rail <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then oh like. God. And then just sack it. Yeah, yeah. And, like the board initially <laughs> is always behind you when you heel flip, you know, yeah. rather than being in front of you. So yeah. Damn. It's just crazy. It's a weird one. I love it. Were you just out in Texas with those dudes? Yeah, I was out there Dude, with Neen. We so went sick. out there because Neen moved to Texas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we all went out there and was just like, oh, yeah, we got it. Like, we planned it for a while. Amazing. Yeah, we were like, yo, we should go check out your spot. Like, if it's okay with you. And like, you know, Texas has so many spots. Sure. sure. Yeah. And we're in Dallas, Fort Worth. So it's like oh a twin God, city area. Bro. So it's like you go to one place one day and you go to another a whole different city section like the other day so dude that's like, rad yeah. when he said he was going to move to i was still he bought a yeah. house and everything yeah. and dude it's his, amazing his driveway too. is like i think he he needs he, to fix it but he it's can like, bank it yeah it's yeah, skatable yeah, yeah he's damn near it's all he's got like a it's up on a high plot and it, he's got a sick nice pit of land, bit of land in yeah. the back and everything with a nice old so house sick. like it's like an, a new, like well put together house, but it's cool because it's got like a older features to yeah, it. So it just, gym. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He made the whole garage his gym. Garage, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, nah, he's killing it. The whole setup he's got out there is I so sick. It. Yeah, oh, I'm a huge Neen fan. Oh yeah, yeah. as a person yeah. and a skateboarder, Both. Yeah. he's yeah. fucking yeah. amazing. And we were eating good every day. Anytime oh, oh. you're with Neen, you know, yeah, like, he had a barbecue. He built a pit, he like a whole, whole thing. Yeah, like like a whole straight up. Yeah. 
like yeah, he's Firestone a uh, full on setup. Foodie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, big Bro, time. It is sick. Yeah, yeah, he just burns wood and takes the coals, puts them underneath like the grates Isn't that on amazing? like everything. Yeah, God, I love and that. it yeah. looks. So oh, it tastes so good. We grilled up one night because, like, I mean, we were out skating a lot, so. Every night we'd always talk about, oh yeah, that's good. we should grill up tonight, and then we end up getting home at like ten, or, Tired, you know. And it takes a lot of work to like sure. make totally. good food that he makes. Yeah, yeah. So sure. we were like one night when we were all pretty dust, we just kind of got home early, and then like just helped out Neen do his thing, and then him and uh, Neen and J Bone were like just going crazy on the little grill area, <laughs> and made so that. many like so many good things like tri tip, all Oof. types of steak, like yeah. Yeah. We just had, had pizza, like, but you're making me hungry. You know, right? <laughs> yeah, he just like has all these different types of wood. It just like has the flavors in it. Like, yeah, it's he's like good uh, at what oh, he's he got one of those uh, the Traeger things. Well, he also has a Traeger, but yeah. he has like wood like on because oh. he like has that uh, like a firewood st- or a fire oh, gotcha. stone station yeah. that he like burns the coal or bo- burns wood. Then all the coal pieces of the wood he takes it and puts it in the corner and puts a little grate mm-hmm. over it and just cooks it on that. So it's like an open fire, nice, like smoky, yeah. It's, it's like a cinder block type. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. He built thing. it all with right. his homie, him and his friends. Yeah. So I love yeah, that. Yeah, and he dude. built a hole so he could like cook a whole pig. I see. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker's cooking a whole pig out oh, there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Covers he's it, doing up, it all. all crazy. Yeah, he's got a whole like, yeah, what, dude? everything. Well, that's the person you'd think to like eat a whole pig. I, you I know, mean, you think he's just eating salads and. Nah, nah, yeah. He eats, he's, he's he eats it up. Yeah, he eats everything. Oh, I know. It's just like, yeah, it's just like a healthy portion of everything. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, it's sick. I love, I love the way he eats. It's yeah. sick. It shows you that. It shows you that it's not just like health. Like there's many different forms of health. Like yes. it's yes, not just is. like it's not just going. Yeah, no, no, no. He's working still, his way. I'm gonna eventually work my way there. Yeah. Maybe. Still no yeah, vegetable. Still no oh yeah, I saw you the other day with like a banana, and I was like, wait, you're eating? I, the, yeah, I like I like fruits. Yeah, <laughs> okay, but no, I love fruits. Yeah. I always love fruits. Not yeah. green. They're not green. Fruits yeah. are green. Well, I mean, a green apple. Do you have like a favorite green grape? Fuji. A what? A favorite vegetable. Mm, nah. Like if you <laughs> had <laughs> nothing. If you favorite had vegetable, to. nah. For me, then no. If you had to, yes, if no, it was like, if it was even. life and death, <laughs> if it was life and death, and you were like, I, you need to choose one vegetable to eat a plate well, of. Well, I'll eat a, I'll eat fried green beans, no, no, and no, fried no, okra. No, 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 no Yes, no, I'll no, eat that. No. Chris, I, we all, we'll all eat that. I feel like stuff. we should do like an either or, like all right, carrot <laughs> but, or but fucking broccoli. I, I'm just saying, what? That's all, down. But, but that is vegetable. It's just fried. Yes. I know, but it, listen, we, we're ta- I'm talking na- all natural from yeah. the oh. from the earth. No, into nothing. the plate. Yeah. Nothing. Would you rather just Nothing? not eat it? Like if you only had that to eat? I mean, if I if I was gonna die, I would eat it. But what I'm would not, you eat? But what would, would you it rather be? eat? Broccoli? I, shit! It Put some I, butter on it. I just wouldn't want to eat any of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you, what do you think? I'm is like, a, if I need to survive, I'll eat pretty much yeah, anything. Yeah, what do, what do you yeah, think is yes. the worst vegetable out there? Asparagus, Ar- artichoke. Like, I've said it before. Artichoke? Really, with the butter and the gut. Oh my! It, you yeah, just, the smell is kind of crazy to me. <laughs> really? Yeah, the smell when they cook it's kind of wicked, and then also it's just got yeah, choking the it. name. <laughs> have you ever had? It's not good. Have you ever had asparagus? I've tried asparagus like off the grill with like the butter and sure, like sure. Uh, garlic and everything. And Makes it's your like, peace smell. Yeah, Makes your peace smell. Good, it's good. not really not not <laughs> a fan. Not your style. Nah. Yeah. Not a salad, no salad, no salad. Green, no, no. I've salad. Eaten, I've, kale. I don't think I've ever kale. eaten a salad. Uh, really? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, You've never I mean, eaten salad? No, nah, I've tried my mom's, but I've never eaten my own salad. No. <laughs> How about like a burger with lettuce on it? No, nah, I take the lettuce off. <laughs> oh, <shit>. No, <laughs> shit. <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, you why would I take the lettuce? Ask for no I, lettuce. I, I, I go add a, yeah, I go no lettuce or tomato. Uh, not even onions. onions. I like onions. onions. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, okay. Go, At go. least that's something. Pickles? Yeah. Not, uh, pickles? It's not like I mean, no pickles. No pickles. <laughs> I'm like the same I way though. <laughs> I don't like tomato. I don't like pickles. Like I mean, I like lettuce, but yeah, yeah I'm not a lettuce guy. I don't like the pickles. I take the pickles. I'll do the tomato no and pickles. lettuce for sure. I crazy. There's people that yeah, the people that are crazy about pickles. I don't like jalapeno, like a little bit of heat or anything. <laughs> I like some jalapenos here and there, but yeah. Man. On the pizza, I'd go more like jalapenos on a pizza. We got to get Sinclair here to do some food conversations. Yeah, oh, good, oh good. man. So, like, I love that guy. Pizza, like, is it just like pepperoni or yeah. meat? Yeah, I mean, no, like, all right, see, I might blow your mind now. Oh. I know, you do pineapple? <laughs> no, 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 Anchovies. Prosciutto arugula pizza. Ooh. Arugula. Arugula. Yeah, okay. but that's on like that's. It's about, cooked. Yeah. It, it blends in with the prosciutto. Yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's, it's okay. delicious. It's delicious. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's good. good. It's, 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 it's more of a like a topping like 
you know, like a spice, I say, right. more of yeah. like than like a vegetable. Because yeah. you know, it's not like a main part of. The yeah. I get you. It's like it's like basil. Right? Yeah, it adds exactly. that flavor. Exactly. Right. It's like yeah. I'm it's down a bit with of that. Flavor. Bit of flavor. Like I put a. I'll put like if you had if I had to choose greens to go in like a sandwich, I would rather put arugula on there than like a piece of lettuce. Right. How about spinach? No, no, no. I have like That's growing the up. You get, the almost. only thing I would like eat sometimes growing up was like uh, spinach and cheese raviolis with my my mom okay. would make them sometimes. But that's inside mm-hmm. the thing, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's so super like, small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And the yeah, cheese yeah. is super powerful. Yeah. Like, but yeah. I I've, I've even had like broccoli with like cheese fondue, and I don't even really like that. Like, is I'm it, still like. But- is it like visually crazy looking to you? No, nah, I don't really care about the visual. Like it could be on my plate. Like that's what some of my friends be messing with me. They're like, oh, look, they put it on your plate. And it's just <laughs> like, dude, I'm like, you want it? He's like, they're like, yeah, look, you have to get it off your plate before you even eat this, your, I like your food. To touch I, was it. Like, I was like, no, like, like I don't care. Like I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll like touch it. I'll like, I don't <laughs> care about it. it. I'll like, I just don't want to eat it. Like, and if you would like to eat it so I don't waste it, that'd be cool. If but if you, not, I'll just waste it. You, is, it, it is, it the, is it the taste? Yeah, it's, or it's, it's a, like super bitter to me. Okay. I just don't like them. It's weird because taste buds do change. They do. You know, every, every, so I maybe every like six buds. years and stuff. It's something too. like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Has I used there, to hate, um, go ahead. I forgot what I've said. Oh, <laughs> Everybody's right. I've got 20 you people talking. Developed into? Like more like like I said arugula and stuff like that, but that's about it. That's all like in arugula the, in is like the, like spicy, peppery. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. all that's all been in the last couple like years. Goes to In and Out. Got any arugula? <laughs> <laughs> Got to give him the arugula on my sure. double double. Yeah, yeah. I've had like arugula on a burger and it was good for sure. Yeah. Or I've also like trying to think of what else. I mean cilantro, but it's like on the tacos. See, it's just like yeah. you like cilantro though. Yeah, I like cilantro. Really? But it's that's yeah. also more of like a spice. Because some people think it tastes like uh tastes like soap. It does. I don't cilantro? like it. For me, yeah. I don't really? that's it, that's what it does to mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. I like the I like the smell and the taste of cilantro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you be open to do a uh, blind taste test? Well, nah, because I don't know what I'm. What do you mean? Yeah. Like, what, what else? What else? It'd is be on great the, content. But what is what else is on the the smorgasbord of There'll be tasting? Vegetables, of course. Yeah, no, no, no. I would. Why would you want to do that? Yeah, I don't even want to. What's the incentive wanna, for him to do that? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there's money. Maybe we can do a little cash uh, prize. Chicken wing. Now He's gonna get. Now we're it. gonna give him a leaf of lettuce. Yeah, yeah. You know, some tofu. Like, Here's here's we're a not buf- here to, buffalo we're, wing, buffalo cauliflower. Right, yeah. Nah. We're not here to torture people. We're not here to torture people. Nah, nah. It's amazing that you don't like vegetables. We'll have to uh, cover. We'll have to see. So next. many people are blown away by it. It's it's, so a, it's incredible. But we'll have to maybe maybe when you come back, we'll we'll regroup and you know maybe the taste buds have changed. I, I mean, know. he it doesn't like s- cinnamon rolls, which is way more insane. It hasn't been six years since you've been here. That's so. the last time that I've I've eaten that. That's fucking, crazy to me. Yeah, I would like. You haven't had a. Cinnamon I would love to have a cinnamon roll no. right now. Like I wow. said last time, dude. Cinnamon rolls. I'm not best. really. It's not really that I. It just. I don't know, man. It's just a ball of juice. I'm like a <laughs> ball of dough. It's, it's ball a ball of dough it's with cinnamon with, and no, butter with, 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 with <laughs> sauce on it. It's delicious. Icing. Anyway, Jamie, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I know. I have sauce. It's called icing, bro. I don't know, bro. Crazy. I just seems like to me in the morning to eat that. This seems like the worst time to eat that. I it's so it's later ain't in the nothing day. like starting off with a heli, a heavy belly. Yeah, I can't do that in so the morning. Good. One last thing before <laughs> one last food thing. Start sorry. off, sorry. start off right. Sorry, Chris. Go ahead. Guacamole. No. Okay, that's it. Texture. <laughs> that's the texture for me. Yeah. Congratulations, bro! You just had a part come out. I'm gonna Thank totally you. derail yes. the conversation. Yeah, too. Chris, yeah, like, we got time limit here. No, 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 no time limit. But listen. <laughs> That part was incredible. Bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you, bro. Yeah. I loved, I loved the song when I, because I, it was, it was the slow motions worked with that song and everything, yeah. and then it was just, uh, and I, I was blown away because Joe said that you filmed that in sixteen days. Dude. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I, we were there for like twenty. The, the well, no, we were there for twenty days. Or that was a. F- do you realize what you're doing? That's a full part ah. in sixteen days, and well, yeah. I'm thinking to myself like Jamie probably was just going out like filming like yeah, just exactly. a regular day shit. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. That's why it's like I know like, and that's the thing. It's like a lot. Of, uh, anyone could do it. Like anyone. Can, I don't know about they that. can. I mean, they can. Not, not you doing it one day. They can. It's just like you know. I just like even. It's just like the hunger. It's kind of the hunger behind it. Like yeah. having like also. It's just I wasn't just. It wasn't just me going. It's just me and Joe going sure. and filming. So yeah, yeah, I got a bunch of people around you that the also want to, yeah, the fil- that want to go filming. Right. If it was just like just me, Joe, and uh, someone else to film second angles, it yeah. would definitely be hard. But like more pressure, yeah, yeah more yeah, pressure yeah. and everything. But I, we went there. I have a bunch of homies still living in Florida, and some homies flew out because they set out like they knew I was going to Florida with Joe Dumb. for a while. 
So yeah, we just got a good crew together and just oh, went out and skated. And that's the thing. It's just like you just, you just everyone try tricks and you just try to land them, and it's, it. it makes it a lot a little easier, obviously too, because Florida is like it's been a lot of people have been going there recently but yeah. like not it's not as tapped in as california is. sure yeah. Yeah. sure yeah, yeah. I, I trip out because i'm thinking to myself you got your crew right mm -hmm. and you know you skate maybe not the ordinary you, i mean you go some you know double triple quadruple and it's kinkers, funny because they don't like, even have those in like south florida where i where i live and grew up okay so it's like good. very rare so as i was gonna say when you want to go skate not some many hills of florida yeah, yeah. when you want to go skate some gnarly shit mm -hmm. You're kind of maybe skating by yourself then, most and like majority of the time, right? Now, does that bug you out a little bit, or do you get hyped off the cruise vibes and shit? It know? definitely, it definitely would. I love it when someone else is up there with yeah, me, right? One, but yeah. also like that's the that thing that's cool too is like when you have a group of homies that doesn't like, like even though like no one else can be the, like up there with you skating it, they right. don't get bummed on it, you know? Right. Like I mean, they they're were, there to watch some, yeah, magic. exactly. Yeah, like yeah. if like you know yeah. the homie wants to go do something crazy or like even something that's like that no one else can do it's like man you might as well go and like support them so it's oh, like sure. yeah it's like thankfully my crew the crew of homies that i hang out with like we're all there for each other like if i was to like think if i really wanted to wake up one day and get a clip and like i really wanted to like set out for it and i made it happen like and i'm with a bunch of homies I'll, i know that they'd be super down just right. to be there and to hang support. out and yeah. support yeah, yeah. What, rather what's... than like we have to be like oh i, I needed to get it i wanted to get a clip today you know right. cuz it, it goes around it like, does okay. it does you know? go around it's it does. my day what is, yeah what's the day start like for you on these missions like do you, are you looking on like google maps or are you just talk like spot books or well yeah. like for us in florida like mainly cuz we were when we were over there it was kind of more of just like was it not raining? Yeah, one was the rain, but we kind of got really lucky. It was in the time, uh, the gap of the year where it was like super nice outside. Mm. It was it was hot, but it wasn't hot, like normal Florida hot. It was, it was beautiful when we were there. We got super lucky. I think it only rained twice or once. Yeah, oh, nice. yeah, yeah and we were there great. for yeah, yeah, over two weeks. Only rained once. It's crazy. Like That's almost good. almost a month. So yeah, in but yeah, part. yeah, and it just worked out really good because I, I was just thinking about like old spots that like we I grew up skating that like haven't been tapped in like certain ways like all the homies now we skate like it's called two block in fort lauderdale it's the one i did front nose back side like big spin behind yeah, me yes yeah. yeah. down the that block fun. yeah and that's the thing we grew up skating it just as like a two a two block or yeah. a three block mm -hmm. and gotcha. then in the past couple of years every like people have been waxing it a lot and doing slide popover tricks so it's kind of so more sick. of like going to old spots that are skated new yeah. and like yeah. in different ways skating, yeah. i love that yeah, yeah yeah and there's a lot of new stuff popping up too which sure. is awesome yeah, yeah. How did you, a lot of the old spots just need a little bond a little love yeah yeah, yeah. Like, true like, too. yeah they don't break. really get touched Rad, that much yeah yeah, yeah. get how, out there right true how did you come up with the rail over the over gap or how, i don't know how to explain it. it's like the over rail I think oh, it's Miami. It is a gap to rail now in my part, but yeah. it was an over rail back. before. Yeah. Yeah. Cat. So I think someone broke it and broke like It's in some, a parking lot. Yeah. So backed into it. Yeah, exactly. I think it's in a parking lot. And so oh, it is in a parking lot and I think someone backed into it. Gotcha. And they just put it up on the side. <laughs> like yeah, they just saw, like it's on the side and then uh the Baker homies went there like with Pedro, like Pedro, T Funk, Zach, and they went there one time to skate over the rail. And this was like probably like three or four months prior to us going there and like they were like oh the rail's gone oh but it's right here on the side and then they like put it and because there's a rail on the stair set that you gap from and you can just wedge the pole in there and it's like, like a perfect gap to rail with the run-up is like smooth tile like wow. with black like the only thing that kind of sucks is the landing is like sideways because it's the oh. it's a ramp that goes up to the parking lot oh. so that was the one thing that throws you off but other than that like the run-up and everything like the landing's black top like Jeez, perfect smooth landing crazy. that was a cool spot yeah it's cool because it was like it was still like a classic spot mm -hmm. that like you know it, it got broken i didn't i didn't do that no one else did that <laughs> it got broken natural causes and it still like natural got skated <laughs> Jamie's like, I didn't go up there and cut it and do yeah, the shit. Yeah. I want to skate I'm not going to destroy a spot just to do that. <laughs> That'd it be got, amazing. Nah, if you did. It got done before I was there. So, yeah. How incredible, Drone. That's, that's if he was great. Like, if he was like, yeah, I just, I, I, I wanted to skate it this way. Yeah, so right. I cut the hey, shit so, and put yeah, it yeah, And I repurposed this. Yeah, thing. just be like, oh, <laughs> all, the, all, the trucks, all the tricks over this already got done. Might that's as well right. just make it a gap to rail. But yeah. you mentioned like that you never skate your board in Florida. So now that you've, you're skating your board, you're producing. So is, did you see that there was any type Ooh. of, yeah, you know it was, what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I mean always you're, cause now you're looking down, now you're looking down at your name on your board. You're like, this gives you a lot more like, Hey, I'm gonna fucking get this done. Yeah. Wow. It kind of like, it kind of more was like, uh, I think I just got used to like, I just, 
even when I was getting mad during that time period of like trying tricks and stuff, I was like, I mean, realistically, I get mad anyways. Like everyone okay. gets, to, everyone gets <laughs> yeah. tempted. Like totally. when they're trying a trick for a while, everyone gets frustrated and everything. But I was just like, you know what? Like just didn't even start. Like I focused not on having like not even looking at the bottom of the board at all. Mm -hmm. I didn't even like care about it. Yeah. Right, right, and I only right. had like three or four boards for like that whole time, so I kind of skated them for a while. Really? Okay. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. yeah. When you get kind of scared with that, don't you break boards kind of often? Not really. Really? Yeah, I kind of skate them for a while. I don't really like. He lands bolts. Yeah, I was about yeah, to say. And I don't, I don't skate doing. stairs really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Skate ledges and handrails, and those guide you to the ground. Yeah, you right. <laughs> feel like you know, it's true. They guide, yeah. true. <laughs> guide you to the ground. You avoid a lot of impact. Yeah. Got lucky and I, soft landings. It's funny because usually whenever I need boards, I like will break them, mm -hmm. and then whenever I have a bunch of boards, I'll never really break them. It yeah. kind of like goes in that way, but thankfully this way, this time it didn't happen, because yeah. I just started skating a new shape before that whole week, like right after the Death Wish video, uh -huh. I was like skate, like I've been skating the same, like I, it was I called it was called a 485, where it's made like the Death, the, the DW85 that they have, Okay, but I made it a shorter wheelbase, mm. because oh. I, for me, I like a shorter wheelbase. Oh, interesting. So it's an 85, but it's a l shorter of a wheelbase, and I skated that for like three years. And then I was like, oh, the death after this Death Wish video was coming out, we were filming that for that for like a year and a half. And mm -hmm. I was like thinking about changing my shape right before the video came out. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to finish this video on what I'm no used to. Yeah, yeah, so that absolutely. way I don't freak out before the video, you know. Yeah. Are Those you writing like, production shapes or like special shapes just for you? Special shapes just for me. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Because I just like, I mean, I just like like a little bit of a shorter board mm -hmm. with, but also a wide board. So it's just kind of a weird board that I feel like most What's people wouldn't buy. It was a uh, thirty-one seven five, that's or no, a, no, no. Length. That's the length, uh, less yeah. the length. Yeah, fourteen and a quarter. Okay, is oh, the wheel base. That's kind of a wider that's one. That's normal. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Huh. yeah. Well, yeah, because before I think the normal ones are like 15, fourteen and a half. Oh, a normal thing is fourteen on standard like. Like I feel like we measure stuff here, and but when they're bigger 14, that way, when they're like eight, eight point five, yeah, they're like it's long an yeah. eight and a half. Yeah, because mm -hmm. the eight and a half is by thirty two and a fourteen and a half wheelbase. Mm -hmm. So then I made mine thirty one seven five with a fourteen a quarter wheelbase, yeah. and still at eight five. Six. So mm -hmm. it's still wide, but it's like a little smaller mm -hmm. and shorter. Because I mean, I'm not even tall, like but, five seven. So, but what made you want to switch? I don't understand. Like it was what, just, just like. It was kind if of, everything's going well yeah, and you're, you're doing your shit and you're yeah, riding like true. if it ain't broke yeah I, it. yeah exactly but i've also thought about sometimes. yeah i just thought about i was like if 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 anything does go wrong and i don't like this new stuff that i think i might like then i'll just back. go back go to the back. old one yeah, but yeah. all you wanted to change was just the wheelbase i wanted to change the board and i wanted to keep the wheelbase oh okay. so you changed the shape the whole shape yeah because it was just uh now i skate a twin tail Eight five yeah. twin tail, mm. yeah. So and it also it's like twin tail from, yeah, I got twin it, paddle, obviously. Twin nose. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about doing like because before, since I had a short board, I kind of had like my nose and tail were kind of short. Mm -hmm. My tail was pretty short, but it, I liked it still. Mm -hmm. I didn't really mind it at all. Yeah. So then I was thinking about doing like a twin. I wanted to make it a little bit longer of a tail, but. So it's like the kind of the length of the nose, but not the steepness of the nose. Yeah. So it's still a twin tail. Did someone so influence like, you to, to try that? Or? Well, like Hashad. Yeah. Yeah. Twin that, tail. He got me. When yeah, he came I on mean, the show, he, he was talking everyone. about twin. And yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I just designed my own chocolate one. Okay, that's coming out. Go. It's coming out like at the end of this month, yep, I think. Yep. And I, uh, I love it. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing it's too. The I'm, I'm not worried about like some people I know, like Ashad. I know I've heard him talk about like. My trucks are like the same looseness and mm -hmm. tightness on both sides. They yep. always have been. I never wanted one looser or tighter than the other. Sure. So I was like, all right, that's easy to transition into. And then also I was like, as long as my trucks stay in a straight line, they'll stay in a straight line no matter what. Right. But like if a tr my trucks are curving, it doesn't matter. It'll curve no matter what. I mean, how great is it just to like throw your board down exactly. and not even think? Yeah. It's 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 a small I still, thing. But I still it, but have it, a it nose matters. in my mind. I still have my nose. Right. But like if I'm doing a line... I can, I don't, I don't, don't it matter. doesn't matter. Yeah, I feel yeah. like you, because I say it's shake junt, so it's hard for me to like have like, yeah. to, oh, it literally doesn't yeah. matter because I could read the shake junt one way. But what yeah, about right. your your truck grooves? Because you do a lot of grinding. Yeah, but I also kind of just, I, I can, I like doing all the, every yeah, single crook. when you crook. start riding your board. I do switch, yeah, and, and when you ride it all, the, all around, it and I don't, like I don't normal. even care, I don't even look at the, the yeah. I don't look at what trucks I'm putting on my front yeah. and back. Oh, wow. So you're not like, if you're front crooking a big rail and you're used to one side of the, we're not used to one side it of the doesn't matter. But if you yeah. set like a brand new like symmetrical shape up and just start skating it and just throwing your board down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skating it, yeah, either which yeah. way. Your grooves I are all totally gonna, get yeah. that. Yeah. It makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah so I, I like wanted to change my shape up, so okay. I did that and it just like did a bunch of had to like change a couple of different measurements so it all like 
looked normal because sometimes like, if you want to do it it looks kind of crazy like sure. certain shapes yeah mm-hmm. so i just wanted to make sure it didn't look all crazy to me and we got one and then also changed my trucks for one from 151 to 149 gotcha because i kind of like felt like i lost my tray flips oh, and like that so like big little, flips and yeah. stuff just like that little sideways scooping yep. mm-hmm. impossibles were kind of weird for me now like because huh. i skate 151s for like four five like five years yeah and I, that's when i kind of stopped doing tray flips and all them stuff and i yeah. like was thinking i was like oh i can still skate I just get an A5 with 149s and it'll be perfect. And I switched to my setup and I I love it just as much as I the last one. Trade flips are good. Trade flips are good. Big flips Impossibles. are good. Impossibles. Hey, amazing. Working, getting Isn't more, getting funny? new tricks. The, I, I, growing up, I never even, I wasn't a board guy. I just, yeah, like, yeah. I like the shape and yeah. I, I go. You, you know, just man. went with what you saw. Dude, sometimes yeah. I skated boards and I could see my wheels. Like mm-hmm. I, I wasn't, I didn't even care. Yeah, you didn't care the truck to size, the board Looking size. Looking yeah. back at it, I'm like, damn it, I wish I would have been more kind of yeah. particular yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Th- and more thought out in what I was like writing. Yeah, It all changed when Professor Schmidt came on here i was like yeah. whoa dude nanotubes and all this shit yeah God, but you were doing yeah, a lot of that grinding. too much stuff. it's crazy but i don't eat you were doing, <laughs> chris, a was doing a, a lot. chris was doing a lot of grinding so you were like focused on like more of the trucks like the, yeah. a bigger the wider the trucks you were you weren't really flipping well that, but that was my thought process it's <laughs> yeah. like if i try to go for a crooked grind or something and i have wide trucks yeah. i'm not gonna miss it's better right. yeah, I'm yeah. Not gonna miss. that's kind of like what i was thinking too i was like Cause I skated a five and right. I, at first I was like, Oh, I want my board and my truck to be the exact same length. Like yeah, that yeah. it's part, that's mm-hmm. what, how it should be. Sure. And then like also just over the years it worked. It, it's great too. Like I have homies that skate it and like they do tray flips better on that than they would on a board without it. So it's, you know, it's all preference. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like, but then after watching like, a shot mainly a shot for like a lot of this stuff is like what changed made the change is just because like he skates a 8-3 with 147s yeah and like it, his oh really yeah his in my mind his is all janked up like his setup <laughs> is, his is like it's mad shorter, yeah, yeah his yeah. his his, his oh, whole has, setup is crazy to me but it works he has yeah, an extra yeah. thing on the end he or puts like, he puts three washers in his board mm-hmm. on the on the on outside the on the outside um, or the inside i can't remember i think it's on the inside on the inside yeah. to make it it's wider, wider. Yeah. yeah yeah but if i mean that's the thing too that's just like doesn't really do anything it's still a 147 mentally it would mentally, but right yeah. like it physically does, it does make it a difference. Does, if you well because when i skate my trucks i put my bolt straight to the end of the of the thread nothing passed oh, and my, my, the, my, my wheel is sh- yeah. Yeah, yeah i love i love the shake. i love the shake yeah. and it's but like same for that reason of like but how many you bearings did you break none really yeah my bearings stay fine they don't press around oh, i feel I, I think good. i think it helps like that's the thing i think it helps the bearing rather than if you make it tight there's no way for the friction or mo- like any type of like like physical weight on it does can't go anywhere. Yeah. So if it can shake around, it can move and settle where it needs to settle. And sure. How much? How much in between the shake? Like, is it like, like extensive? You know what I mean? It's like, pretty extensive. <laughs> I'm, I'm straight. I don't. I don't let. I don't let my bolt. My. I don't let my axle come anywhere past my bolt because then that's how you like. Your Triple. threads get oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's the worst. Bro. That's yeah. some next level shit. Yeah. Right there. And then if, if you, you land if you, primo and stuff. Right. Yeah. And if you change to like you know wide wheels, skinny wheels, and you're yeah. really going. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now do you bend axles? No. Really? Yeah. Wow. I, I, yeah, it's funny. I have like a lot of the problems that like I see a lot of my friends have is like, so I'm not be just light on my feet. There you know, you, go. <laughs> you know, big guy. <laughs> yeah. bolts, I don't, man. I, yeah. I, I like never break bearings. Like I have homies that break bearings all the time and yeah. I blows my mind because <laughs> I, I, I think I've only broken one bearing, one pair of bearings before. And it was like luckies, like when, like mad long ago when yeah. I was like little kid. And then okay. what do you only, write now? What bearings? Bronson's. Yeah. Bronson's. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bronson Raws are my favorite. They come, come out. They just come out. You, you, got your own, you have your own. Your I own. do have my own bearing Cha-ching. with them, and it, they're great too. But I just like the Raws mainly, just because like it comes with the whole like the sound. Like yep. yeah. it, when yeah. I do, I set my own bearings up. Like a trick that I learned is like I pop the caps off of every bearing. Mm-hmm. I've done that for years, and that helped my bearings last so much longer. Mm-hmm. But also, I take like if I have regular Bronsons or my Bronsons or anyone's Bronsons, they come with oil in them already. Gotcha. So I just throw them in a, a cup of like Windex or something and degrease them. You take them. a degree Damn. because really? that's the best. Yeah. When, when that bearing, you, I don't you know, want grease in there because the grease attracts dirt. You like see, if you, if it's dry and it rolls, that's perfect. The grease or whatever dirt gets in will fall out. The bearings I've been skating right now, I haven't, uh, maybe two or three boards. Yeah. 
that spin yeah, and that, that sound. Yeah, I don't change my bearings oh, ever unless so like good. unless literally they're like to. yeah, unless they're like bad. So wait, good. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. You put your bearings yeah. in Windex? He de- yeah, it degreases it because Windex is like a degreaser. You can use so that WD-40 way, yeah. as well. Yeah, 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 you, yeah. Well, WD-40 ex- ex- like attracts grease yeah, after. It's weird. Yeah. WD gre- uh, WD-40 is a weird one. It's he a, knows his bearings, Raj. Yeah, he, he sounds like it. Dude. How did you? I've never even thought about like because like. It just Windex is like a deep, yeah. like, you know, like yeah, grease yeah. from your fingertips right. and then right. it just wipes it off. So it's like, that's like gets the grease gone. So you, should, you need to make uh, Brunson bra- uh, Brunson dries. Yeah. Right. Just have no yeah. Grease yeah. Well, that's what they have is the raws. The raws are. Oh, okay. Did the raws yeah, don't come loose? Do anything. No. Yeah, that's really? Yeah, no, raw. you pull them out of the case and you go well, like you spin it and it just. I love that. This that's why they're raw. Yeah. Huh. Raj puts lubes on his bushings. Oh, I don't I'm like not. that smooth feeling. I don't <laughs> no, like that no. smooth feeling it. at all. And when like new that. bearings is like the worst it sounding is. thing ever. It's it just sounds like a waterlogged board. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. I actually like that. It just sounds I hate so it. Sorry. I, hate I, hate it. I like that. I hate it too, bro. <laughs> it's just, I need, Dude, I need, I need, I need like always a ching, solid ching. board. Like, I want my board to hiss. I want it to like make all these noises. I want my wheels to smack the axles. I want I want to hear Yeah, I just want to hear board. Racket. Yeah. You know the first person I saw with the wheels going back and forth? JB Gillett. Oh, When he came out here for the first time and started hanging out with him, I'm like, what the fuck's up with your board, dude? Yeah, yeah. My wheel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, yo. Ever since then, I did the same shit. I fucking love it. Yeah, I just, it makes good noise when, especially when you power slide, it makes better noise. And then also just like, like for the reason that Shad puts maybe three washers on the inside of his truck is like, if you just have your shit all the way out, when you lock in, your wheels that immediately it's get be pushed on the, on the further mm-hmm. to the furthest yeah. it, can, and it can be. And I mean, I don't know how often a nut would just pop off the axle. So I feel like that rarely ever yeah. happens. So I'm not worried about that or anything. I love how skaters just are so, they everybody yeah, shits their own different. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody likes diff- Raj likes soggy bearings. You yeah, like dry yeah, bearings. Yeah. Like, I, when so did it? Well yeah, I learned that like a year ago. It wasn't that long how ago. How did you learn? Did you just like think of it? You're like, dude. I was just thinking about like, I looked up like just like, home degreasers like just like the like on, i'd sit on google like if i just have a random thought done. i'll just like go on google yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's amazing i'm gonna try that man yeah or I, I, I haven't switched my bearings in a while though i yeah. can't if they're so if good you get right if now. you are so good if yeah. you if you need new bearings like literally just guarantee you get a little thing of windex yeah. just a cup and you just shake them in there for like 10 15 minutes <laughs> yeah. let them sit for like 30 minutes okay so i like that and yeah. you, you let them you just draw you just take a paper towel or whatever not wipe them off and they're just like Wow. Yeah, I'm trying that for sure. Home so bearing hacks definitely. with Jamie Ford. DIY, let's go. I yeah, love it. Dude. It's so nice. I just hate, like, I, once I figured that out, I was like, yes. Because before, I'd be kind of bummed if I ran through all my raws. And I'd be like, damn, now I got to set up, like, I how often up, are you well, setting up new bearings? I was just though. about to ask. Probably like <laughs> every board. Nah, every like <laughs> six months or okay, so. Okay, it's yeah. not like, it's or not every four all. months, five months. Like, yeah, it depends. Like, sometimes if I'm in Florida, like, I'll go, like, it'll go in the sand and, like, the mm-hmm. sand will fuck right. it up. Like, Certain things, like, if it gets dirt out here, like, the dirt is, like, dust. So, it kind of, sure. like, if it gets your bearings messed up, it usually falls out. Right. But, like, sometimes it doesn't. And if it doesn't, then I'll change the whole set of bearings. Yeah. Instead of, like, I'm not a big fan of, like, I know, like, people touching their trucks, like, taking, oh, new bushings in and the old truck, new hangers is, like, that's crazy to me, too. Like, mm. if you're going to change something, just change it. You're not going to put, like... Buy a new car and then put the old parts. Uh, you know what though? You know what? On the car. Here, here's what's funny, Jamie. Like, it's like okay, so I like you buy a new bit. You're like, oh my truck, my axle's broken. I'm gonna put my old bushings in my new trucks. It's like no, what? but hey, listen. Here's the thing. Here's my thing, right? So uh, twin, twin tail, twin paddle board. Yeah, yeah. Right? I'm down there skating the curbs, yep. slapping all the time. Boom, boom, boom. Hardly click my tail around. I am almost down to the axle. I've never mm-hmm. gotten a truck down to the axle. So my and bearings, my bearing, my, my bushings popped. I, I took the hanger off, put new bushings mm. in, put that because I'm on my way. But that's also that's to different. The axle. Yeah, that's like if you really <laughs> want to get there and like do something. That's what that's I'm different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a I have a mission. Yeah. I want to get down to that goddamn axle. Yeah. And I need to operation say that. axle. New bushings yeah. on operation old axle. trucks yeah. is a little different rather than like. I see. I had no people that will buy new trucks or get new trucks and, and put, put their, their old, old bushings, bushings in, in there, 
or their old pivot cup or something. It's like, right. dude, what are you? I what changed, are you doing? I changed my pivot. Cup they want, they, yeah. they want that same feeling. I mean, I get it, but, but you're not going to get. You're not going to get the same. feeling. You're never going to get the same feeling. Drop drop a lube right for like a day or two, just kind of the cleanser board in the bushing. Yes, he puts KY jelly. I put lube on the knob. You might as well just put water too, like whatever. Water lube, same thing. Like when water gets on my bushings, it's the worst feeling ever. Oh, and sauce and bushings the worst. Yeah, 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 sometimes yeah. those new bushings, like they 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 they're, they're springy. Yeah, yeah. You get a little bit more yeah. pop. The yeah. trucks may be a little wonky at first, yeah. but you get a little bit. I, that's how you I feel. They're though. definitely stiffer and everything. Yeah. So that's sometimes when you get a new board and like new setup. Yeah. yeah, I mean, same with like boards too. When you get a new board and it's like stiff rather than like soggy, you know. Yeah. Mm. Different tricks for at those times and everything. Right. So you just do right. stock bushings when you. Get I, yeah, when I get but yeah, make sure they're never. I make sure they're never white. Like the white ones or anything hmm. solid color bushings, you terrible. Like the transparent. I need the ones blue, the blue or the red transparent gotcha. or the green transparent. Hmm. The green ones, yeah. Greens That's or blues. I, right I think green. the blues are my favorite. The blue transparent like bushing from the Thunder Raws, those are like the best. And you really think it's something the mater- or like it, the, it's one hundred percent the the difference the between dyes. the dyes, yeah, like yeah, yeah. The, the blue the blueness and the I remember white, this conversation yeah. like ninety four ninety three yeah yeah it, the so dye good. changes the the whole <laughs> urethane like chemically a little bit yeah. same with like a plies like, yeah plies exactly yeah. plies or wheels like if you get uh like colored wheels they're usually a little like like harder yeah like what? than a regular raw urethane wheel mm-hmm. like color? if you get like black ones like a black wheel like yeah. they'll be super slippery exactly even though it's 100 or 99a or whatever it's the same that's what they yeah but it's like it feels like 105 because of the black wheel like because <laughs> of the dyes you know what color top do you ride what do you prefer eh, i don't have a preference you don't have a preference no nah, nah, i like I- them all Okay. I'll be like uh, I love green. Yeah, green. I love green. I love green, <laughs> blues, yellows, okay, pinks. So you I'll don't have them. a preference if you saw orange. Saw you just give me whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'll even do red. As crazy as people <laughs> think that is. Yeah, I don't like because I don't, I, like I don't think it's crazy. I'm really surprised. Like like skateboard companies actually still make red top boards. Yeah, I mean. uh De- uh, Death Wish does yeah. not Baker does not They won't yeah. They won't do it Why? Just because all their riders Some people are just su- su- Superstitious about it Yeah, yeah. Of the, It's supposed to be The bad red? luck Red? I feel like red's really? The most common Red top No, no. Nah. Wow. That's red so top bad. is like Not a th- Like nope Nope yeah. Girl makes I red tops All the time Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Definitely that's why I remember, like, hearing the superstition. I was like, I swear, I was riding a girl board at the time when I was a little kid. They're like, this could be the same board. Like red back. top, like, like red top, a uh, red top apply. It's a bad look, man. Mm-hmm. I was like, I like the red. <laughs> I think the red looks nice. I'm like, go against the grain. Yeah, I like, I like the red. The red's cool. I love a pink. Like a ooh, the pink's like a, the best. Yeah, pink's, pink's a good one. Yeah, pink and yellow are my favorite. Yeah, I'm yeah. a fan of blue or purple. Yeah, blue purple. purple. Yeah. Purple, yeah, cool. nice like dark yeah. purple. I just feel like it's stiffer. Something about the the, the it, dye. It definitely is. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. that's what, another thing that I love is the. I think it's a, whatever it's called a one two seven or something. One three seven is like the top ply color, middle, middle ply, ply color, mm-hmm. bottom ply yep. color. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. Rather than some people do like two top plies, two yeah. bottom plies, and it, it's all like st- right. I, I was hearing from other homies that it's all different. Yeah. Which is crazy to me. Like, yeah. I mean, every is, factory yeah. has their own method. Yeah. And well, I also, think, the companies uh, request certain things. Yeah. Oh, totally. I know chocolate yeah. has their thing. Some yeah. do, yeah. Has their some thing. do a they one, have, two, a seven, where mm-hmm. it's just the top two, and then just the bottom one is yep. the ply or mm-hmm. colored plies. And I, I need the one, four, seven. Like yeah. the one. Oh, so that's middle. your pet. That's your, your that. one little madness. So the yeah. layers yeah. matter. Yeah. The layers would matter. Yeah. But that's just because I know, like, that's like the stiffness of the board. What about like a, a dip board? Like you know, I like a dip board. Really? Yeah. But then you but, don't know what the layers are. But then the layers, and that's the thing. <laughs> if then you once all this paint wears off, you'll be like, damn, no wonder this board was so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all. Yeah. Just you all, find out after the yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the, the thing with like. Um, Sometimes when you have no color plies, the board feels so thick yeah. and like heavy. Like yeah. the color, I don't know why. It's so weird. I'm not a whole like into that whole colored ply thing yet. Like I don't know what the whole reason or anything. You might get there. Yeah, I, I, I don't might know. find I'm my way, way over there. there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I might find my way over there. But right now, all I know is I like a one four seven. One four seven. When it's a one two seven, it's too way too stiff for me. Oh, I, I want a board that's like a little. You need like, to get I like, in the factory and start like helping them build these boards. Uh, no, dude. stay out of there. Just be like, yo, this needs to be. I'm no. already in. I'm I'm deep enough into where I. I <laughs> yeah, he's just staying in the skate. Yeah, he found yeah, his yeah, board. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's got yeah. the twin paddle. Yeah, he's, that's he's, the thing too. I'm also I can skate pretty much like anything on a on a like a, on a wing or a limb or whatever. Like yeah. if I didn't have my shape, like yeah. I, it's not gonna stop me. I can get a regular Deathwish eight five that they make in the factory and skate it. Ooh, it just like you know, just take a little bit How of. How about the glue and the, the the wood? 
Not sure about that. As long as they Water stay based together, or I have no idea. Resin? Don't, don't get know. this into his head. Yeah, yeah. Roger's yeah. going yeah. off like, into a whole yeah. other yeah. direction. <laughs> I have Take no him idea. Somewhere he hasn't yeah. been. Yeah. yeah. If the board, hopefully the board stays together. That's all I care about. As long as the board imagine. stays together, yeah. we're good. So like, this yeah. isn't the right glue. Yeah, Fuck. nah, I don't know. <laughs> Fucking nine club, but like Roger. <laughs> but if you so, use like resins, whatever, it can like, actually become harder. Ah, uh, I you know. know. I, yeah. I know. There's there's a lot of ways that people tweak on their board setups, oh, and yeah, like nice. a lot of them, I think is because like a lot of it's pretty crazy to me. Because I mean, honestly, like if you're a skateboarder, you should be able to skate like anything. It's cool that we can make whatever we want. Sure, it's awesome. It's amazing. Right. But realistically, it's like eh, it doesn't really make the man. You know. I mean, the, or or woman in the, a sense, the, you know, you per, the person. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. you know, anyway, they can skate anything. You know, you give them a board. I could skate an eight. You know, it might suck for a while, but, but you you'll know, be used to yeah, it. Yeah, I'll figure yeah. it out. Yeah. I don't know. You'll I don't still know have fun you, on it. I don't know if you can skate anything. I think these boards that we just had this little segment, mm-hmm. last, um, the boards that you would get from like uh, Walmart. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, those oh, are wicked. Those are wicked. Yeah, these yeah. little beginner boards. I don't know. I, yeah, I wouldn't put it past know, Jamie look, to... It will change you can get stuff done. Bit. Yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. But I mean, like, any but type standard, of, like... Standard oh, yeah, board, from sure. your company, like, yeah. if, like, anyone, like... Dude. Death Wish, like, if they run for out sure. of my boards, like, I have a the DWA5 I can skate if I want an A5. Realistically, I would probably do the DW... Or the... The B16, which is like their OG shape, because that's the same length as my board. Okay. Just say like 8475 instead of a 5. Eight, Are all five. the boards labeled like that? Yeah, they have so all. So, like, the public would know. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Every board that is, like, sent from Death Wish has the, stick, the sticker with the name of the shape, the exact dimensions, the, concave, the length. Like yeah, that. yeah, kind of, like, pretty much, like, real yeah. sure, and all, all sure. of, all of uh, Deluxe does. You yeah. should take 16 days and film a Walmart board part. <laughs> That would, that would take. A, I feel like that would be a lot shorter than a normal part. <laughs> but you know, no, well, listen, you're going yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Give yourself 16 days, dude. Man, yeah. 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 Even if it's a you video of you just breaking clips. them, it would still be amazing. Oh my! God. I just but try, like, try a trick and shit. then just, just and then just snap it because you're pissed. I watched that uh, one of really and it like did not look fun, dude. Mono, yeah. dude. Did go not. to go to Walmart, modify the board, put like good wheels on it and bearings. Yeah, and then then you could probably do it. You yeah, could. That might be the I mean, case. You for could. Sure. Yeah, you could for totally. Sure. You definitely uh, could. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the trucks are like plastic. They're horrible. Yeah. But even if it's like um, your throwaway type shit or like your <laughs> warm up stuff, and you're doing it on one of those boards, <laughs> it, could be no, epic, it could yeah. be epic. It could be epic. Have you seen like, this warm up stuff, Rush? Like, no, it'd be epic though. Grinding like a 16 rail with one of those would be the scariest thing because all, all yeah. that matters with what I like in the sense of what I do is like in the skating big rails the only thing that matters is getting a good ollie yeah. right exactly and with those boards it's the number one thing that's hard to do yeah. is get a good <laughs> ollie yeah. you, need to, you need to feel oh, that yeah. click yeah. Right. Yeah. That's, do, that's, do that's a full slappy part that's his yeah, yeah that would be a lot better plastic trucks too not as so yeah work. listen speak, not as bad speaking of uh, clicking your tail and everything uh, this trick, I want to ask you because if front crook down El Toro, <laughs> was this first try? It was first try, yes. It really was. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you do any? How do you get warmed up? For I mean, listen, you front crook pinch front, king, but listen, how do you get <laughs> this? I is El front Toro. side. I front side fifty fifty did it. Okay, at least like thirty times. Oh, you did. Oh, wow. Yeah, at least thirty. Times. At least yeah. front side fifty fifty. Yeah, yeah. And then what? That you just is said so I'm funny. Yeah, it was like I mean, the day there was crazy. Like. It was funny because I went there to front feeble it. it. I front feebled it like two weeks before. Okay. And that was in my Death Wish part, mm-hmm. like the Death Wish part one. And that was like, obviously Ty has, I, I've always thought about doing it. People have told me about like to do it and stuff like that. <laughs> sure. Like they're like, oh, you could front crook El Toro. And I was like, it was more of a dream, yeah. like in the sense of like, oh yeah, one day, you know, whatever. <laughs> and just like God. filming with Ty, doing the whole thing. And he was always like <laughs> talking about the front crook, like, oh yeah, like, you ever thought about the front crew on El Toro? I was like, I've never been there, one. So I was like, yeah, I, I could like be down to like just check it out. And then just straight up went there with him one day to check it out. And I was just like, damn. like, And I kind of told him, I was like, I don't know if I can do it. Like, It's kind of gnarlier than Ooh, I thought it was, yeah, all this okay. and that. I mean, because it, it is, it's, it's not a, it's not a, it's not giant, but it's definitely not small. Gotcha. It's got like a little, it's a little bend. Yeah. yeah, the little bend was like a weird thing for me too. Like I didn't know if it was going to fuck with me at all. Ooh. And it's funny because I don't really remember like, at all like what i have a black like blacked out moment straight yeah, up from when i okay. pop my tail to when i'm landing it's yeah. like i don't really remember at all it's, it's so the most bizarre thing yeah it's just ever. straight muscle memory just kick in just like oh, black I trip out just on like muscle. yeah straight like like it's like someone out. put a blind like i pop my tail put a blindfold over me 
rolled away and just like look, like opened my eyes to the sky being like oh. <laughs> I mean look at you right here yeah, literally like that fucking as like, dumb I no lived away. Yeah. yeah you're like your mind goes blank it's yeah insane. absolutely yeah. blank right there and then I popped my head up like oh I'm rolling away oh my <laughs> God. I feel it but see listen that's the thing <laughs> yes. though is, is Jamie like this happens Bro. a lot on like tech tricks right you're yeah, trying yeah. these tricks for like six hours and then finally bup, 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 and your, your body you, just does it you you're don't like, remember like, wait I'm got, I, I got, I I got to my point. But to black out on something like I know, this, yeah. it, that trips yeah. me yeah. out. Yeah, I, and that's see, that was another thing. Crazy. If I was there, if I was skating that by myself, it would not have been able to happen at all, I don't think. You need, yeah. you need that. The yeah, yeah I, was, I was there with Chase, mm-hmm. and Chase was skating it like nothing. Like Chase is a, one of the gnarly skaters ever mm-hmm. in my mind. Like mm-hmm. been with him for so much, so many things. Mm-hmm. But like he just... Like was skating it like nothing. I was just front fifty fifty it, front side fifty fifty it, and Chase is up there. He's like talking about how he board slid it when he was like fourteen or something. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, on, okay, you know? buddy. He's like, yeah, yeah. I board slid this when I was fourteen right. or whatever. How he was super young, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. He just like we started skating. I started grinding it. He started grinding it, and like I'm walking back up the stair set, and as I'm walking up the stair set, I, I see him rolling up. And I'm like looking at, I'm finishing walking up the stair set and I turn to the side and he's halfway down the rail in a front 5-0. Oh like I heard him pop his tail. And I was like, oh, he's just going to front, front 50 it again. But he just front 5 would it. He and landed then, it. Yeah, yeah. He just front 5 would it. <laughs> and then just Gosh. like, was like, damn, dude, this thing's so good. Like, oh. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, fuck, like it is really good. Like it's a really good rail. And he's like, bro, this thing's so good. He front lipped it fucking front smith it like he did so like a lot of the basics like yeah. pretty much th- that he did those with a lot of 50 50s and it was to hype me up too and it really did hype me up because just watching him like front 50 it and front smith it and front lip it with like Dude. not Com- a bat like in the eye confidence yeah, yeah i was like oh okay like it looks like he's making this thing look like a 10 stair rail so it's like he was like pretty much the whole gas behind it where it was like wow. i got there so that day i got there or the day I went there to front feeble it, mm-hmm. this is what happened first. So I went there to front feeble it, and I went there, and front feebles for me are super comfortable, and I was like, oh, yeah, I can front feeble this, no problem. Gotcha. And that went really well. That, that was second try. Front oh, feeble wow. was second try. Damn. And then I was there all gassed up, like, oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to front crook this thing. I can front crook it. Like, I just front feeble that thing, like, so Chilling, easy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was chill. And then I'm like, Looking at the top of the rail, all gassed up. I'm like, man, if they were here right now, I'd do this shit. Like, oh, just like, you almost started like, talking yeah. yourself yeah, out yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. You're like, man, if they were here I right now, I got my iPhone. Yeah, like, if right here, I would do it right now. Like, damn, like, I wish they were here right now. Like, all good. Like, I'll just call Ty and plan it. Right. So then, obviously, like, I'm leaving the spot. I'm like, he's like, because I told him I was going to go front feeble it for the Death Wish video. Mm. And then I would front crook it for, for oh, the flat earth. Okay. So I was like, I'm going to go there, front feeble it. And like, you know, that way, no, like no pressure for me in the sense of you being there with all the gear and everything. Mm. So it's kind of like more of like, oh, I'm gonna go there. And I know it hasn't been front fueled yet. So I want to take that one. And then I was like, maybe see about the front crook. He was like, yeah, cool. Let me know how it goes. So hit him up after, told my front feebled it. He was like, what do you think? And I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I, I got the front crook. Like, let's go and do it. He's like, he was super gassed up. He's like, oh hell yeah. I love to hear it. Like, Dad. let's do it. Like, get it going. And like, yeah. you know, we start planning everything. And uh, pretty much like a week and a half, I think it was like 10 days, like went by. It was like, well, probably, oh, yeah, it was two weeks from that moment because it's probably because it wasn't, or from the front feeble. It was a weekend. Like a weekend. Yeah, yeah it was oh, like a full right. on week and stuff like that. And I was just like sitting there. Like, I remember one week before, like, I woke up in my bed. I was like, damn, like, I got a week now until. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, I, like, it was funny because, like, well, the next day, even after, I was like, oh, I told him I'm going to front crooked. Oh, but it was still fresh on my mind where I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, I, I got it. But then literally like a week goes by and it's a weekend and I'm like still skating with the homies and I'm just thinking, I'm like, damn, next week I got to go do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just told Ty. like, right. I, Do you I feel got, weird claiming like tricks you want to do? Not really in a sense because it's like I don't claim to like people that I wouldn't like really like that aren't my close friends and stuff right. like that. You yeah. know, I'm not mm-hmm. going and claiming stuff, but like I definitely like to put stuff in that. You're not claiming a backside flip on it? No. Uh, <laughs> but it's also Ty. <laughs> It's also yeah, Ty. Like, yeah. he's a filmer. Uh, We're going to go, helps. like... Yeah, yeah. Know. He helps. He's, he's and, an but, inspiration. Bro. Yeah, and yeah. also, it's just, like, you know, he he knows that you can do whatever you want to do. Totally. Right. That's the thing, too. It's, like, a lot of people doubt themselves, and Ty is, like... You got I this. don't think that fool has an ounce of doubt in his no. mind yeah. in, no. in any sense ever. Like, yeah. if yeah. you give him a task, he's going to accomplish it. Absolutely. So, it doesn't matter, like, anything. So, like, that's cool that that's there, like, gassing you up. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just, like, it was funny, because every day before, like, every day, for a whole week prior, I was just, like, man, I got to go do this, like... Did you practice already, at all? Like, go to- no, I would just skate with the homies. I was just like, you know, because that's the thing too. I don't like to practice a whole lot. I just like to skate how I skate, yeah. and it just like works out. 
Like, you know, I have to feel like if you focus on something too much, you one could cite yourself out or just make it a big issue. Yep. You just like make it not a big deal and it's not a big deal. Mm-hmm. So like literally b- going up to it, like the day be- days before I'd wake up like, oh, damn, I got two days left. Oh, tomorrow I got to go do this with Ty. Fuck yeah, what I yeah, say. Yeah. And then like finally I woke up that day. I was like, hey, guys, like my homies are there. Like, you're going today? <laughs> like all my homies. And then I'm like. Yeah, I'm gonna go down there right now, like link up with Ty. He's like, "All right, cool." Like all my homies, like, "We'll see you there." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll yeah they hopped in my car because I was living in Long Beach at the time, and literally no one else had a car at the house, so it was just me. And they're just like, everyone got my car that could fit. They're like, "You're going there today? Cool!" Like so, everyone came wow. there and just like had. That's the main thing is like the whole group of homies hyping you up. But sure. I, I got there that day. And I was like, all right, cool, guys. Like, I'm just going to, like, you know, Ty takes a while to set up yeah. and stuff. So I was like, Ty, while you get all your stuff ready to go, I'm just going to grind it a bunch. Right. And just, like, see how it feels and let you know yeah. if I'm down or not. Yeah. Sure. And easily, as soon as I'm, I'm walking up the stairs with my board, I turn around and, I'm like, I'm like, all right, I'm at the top. Now I got to look down at what I said I was going to do. Turn around, looked at the rail, and I was just like, there's no fucking way I'm doing this. <laughs> like, there's no fucking way I'm doing this. Because literally, it's like, fuck. Like, in my mind, I was so terrified. I was like, front feeble is one thing. I'm leaning back. It's like back truck whole thing. But like, if I try to put my front truck on this and it doesn't go well, <laughs> like, it's, it's a just, long yeah, it's, a lo- it's a, just a long way down to the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Do you have anything you do to like deal with fear? I just pretty much think of my mindset as like, imagine you doing it already pretty much that's mm-hmm. my only like mindset it's envision like, it. yeah envision right. that you've done it already yeah. and don't have an ounce of doubt in your mind because as yeah. soon as you think anything wrong's gonna happen it will yeah, yeah. that's like, a problem the law of attraction yeah, in the yeah, universe yeah. and everything Absolutely. it's just like you know like then that's another thing is like claiming stuff isn't like claiming there's i would say different forms of claiming is like oh like you said you want to like you said you want to do it it's right. not really claiming it's more mm-hmm. like you know you're putting it out there yeah, and like, you know, you try rather it. than like oh I already did it or I'm gonna do it I'm it's gonna like, do it, this tomorrow like, yeah. Yeah, yeah it gets to a certain point but like yeah it's like having a good support system my homies was there I was just got there didn't think I was gonna be able to do it and then I'm skating in a bunch Ty, or Chase comes up does all these tricks makes it look so mellow that's what that's what and that's, it around, that's what right? I was like I was like alright I, I literally was gonna tell Ty right before Chase went up there I was like Ah, uh, sorry. I was rolling up, and I was just like, every other try, I would roll, I would fifty fifty it, roll up, imagine a front crook, and then go back, then front fifty it, and do that over and over and over. And there was one of the f- ro- tries I was rolling up, like in my mind, saying, "All right, front crook," and I rolled up. I was like, "There's no way I'm doing this." Wow. So I was like thinking about walking down the stairs, and telling Ty, "I'm like, sorry, I'm not gonna try it." And wow. is there ever uh, crazy? I was all bummed, like super bummed, because I was like, "Man, I got everyone here, got everyone set up, ready to go." Like. And then I seen Ch- like Chase is at the bottom with everyone like in that like field zone, and they're all just like I'm at the bottom or I'm at the top, staring at it, and they just scream super loud. The whole group together like, Yo, let's go! Like you got it! Like, <laughs> like, like you Hard. fucking do it because they they could pretty much see that I was like yeah. stressing, like yeah. just like I wasn't physically stressing and putting it out there, but they could definitely see so all the good homies, sure. so yeah. they know like what I was going through. I feel like in the head. <laughs> is there ever have you ever claimed a trick and never done it? Uh, or is there a trick that you claimed and haven't gone back? I think claims the wrong yeah. word. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. like, it's the wrong word. Like, 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 but have you ever like told your told your friends like, hey, I'm gonna go do this, and then like, yeah, I mean, there's definitely I mean, it's to all there's of definitely us. been yeah. things. Yeah. yeah, there's definitely there's not. I don't but try I'm sure every single thing. Like, it's huge. Yeah, there's definitely some things, but it's more than off more than often than none. It's like because I said it, I end up doing it. Right. More of like I'm owning up to my bets. Like it's not even a bet, but like you know, I'm saying like if I say I'm gonna do it. It's going to get done. I'm going to do it. Yeah. And that's yeah. the thing. It's like, I'm going to do it regardless, or at least I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. Yeah. Because at least if I you get hurt trying, you tried it. Yeah, that's you know? what I'm wondering. Is like, is yeah. it, is anything you're like, you're like, I'm going to go do this, and then it just like got broke off, and like, all right, I have to go back, and still haven't done it yet. Yeah, it, that happens a lot, too, and mainly trips. I feel like the main thing that I do is like a trip is like the main thing. Saying like you want to go do it on a trip, and then you like leave before you get to go do it. That's like the main Yeah, then you're one. like, oh, I got to go back to Austin yeah. or wherever else. Other than yeah. that, it's like, I kind of own up to all the things I say and it's like one, me saying it helps me do it too. Yeah, absolutely. Because if I didn't yeah. say it, then like my homies aren't there to like press me about it, you know, or say anything about it. So yeah. it's like, it's like, you know, since I say it out there, my homies are like, oh, you said you're going to go to you. Like, listen, my you're filmer, putting it out in the universe, yeah, bro. My filmer yeah, will be like, yo, yeah. you said, I remember you said right. you want to go try this. You're just like, Oh, all right, let's go drive. And sometimes yeah. you forget you said some yeah, shit. Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. I said that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, but yeah. Isn't like, that funny though? With the flip of a flip of a switch, your whole mindset changed yeah. that day. Yeah, that yeah. day it was it's, just it's it was crazy. Like totally. just a straight up the homies gassing me up. Like I did not want to do it at all, and then 
I was literally about to go tell Ty I was not going to do it and to, might be like, my bad, Atiba, whatever. Like, oh, so sorry, guys. There, yeah, yeah, so yeah. many people. Crew. Next level so many shit. people. And it's like, everyone's always talked to me about doing it. So me being there yeah. and walking away from it in my mind was kind of like a, I can't. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I have to like, to I have degree. to like, yeah, I'm terrified. At least like, give it one little, attempt. I have to try. Get broke off. Like, yeah, that's the thing. I got to try. Like, and even if I don't get broke off and I like make it out and I say I'm over it, at least I tried. Right? Yeah. But like, that's the thing too. I was up there. I was just like, all right, well, Chase made it look mellow. One, <laughs> two, I got all the homies here hyping me up. Three, I got a Tiba and Ty all set up, ready to go. Like, those Everything, are the every, guys. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Everyone's, the food chain, everyone's, yeah. everyone's here right now to do this. Yeah. So I'm going to try this. Yeah. So, like, I was just like, all right. Like, in my mind, I was just like, all right. Like, I got to own up to what I've been, t- I've been talking about this for years, too. Like, <laughs> right. one, not really claiming it, but talking about possibly doing it for years. And then we're there. It's time. It's time to own up to my bet. Like, I'm saying, like, yeah. you know, I always said it. Like, I got to at least try it or else, you know, I can't be one of those people. I'm not. That's just how I grew up. It can't be one of those people. Yeah, you know? yeah. and so this was, was an appropriate time. Like after you land that shit, yeah, you deserve, it was that you deserve to put your fucking hands up. It was the end. Real shit. Yeah. yeah, it was like the end. Straight it was the up. end of the video too. Like that was like a oh, two weeks until the deadline. So that was like one of the last tricks for the video. And I was just like, all right, I have a lot. I have a great part that I'm stoked on right now. But this will definitely be the icing on the cake. Fuck yeah. And it's just like I rolled up twice to it. I rolled up first because I I usually roll up a lot. Okay. Like for something scary, I'll roll up a lot because oh, I, really? I want to have every like that's why I was fifty fifty the rail a bunch of times because I want to have everything like mo- like muscle memory, sure. like a skate park. Like oh, I've been here a bunch, I've done it a bunch. Like I'll yeah, skate it yeah. a lot. Yeah. So I was rolling up a bunch, and that's why I was skating and grinding it a lot was just to get everything down. And I'm rolling up doing the trying to think about the front crook, and I was like, all right, if I get stuck rolling up more than five times, I'm mm-hmm. just gonna roll up every try for like an hour. And I'm going to have to start grinding it again. I'm going to, and it's just a whole cycle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that day was one of the times I was like, all right, I'm not rolling up. Like I'm going to roll up twice, maybe three times get it and done. just like yeah, try it, it and send it. Wow. So then I honestly, in my mind that to right there, I was like, I'm just going to try it right now. No roll up. I'm going to just try this shit. <laughs> so I'm, I, and I get it very, and that's another th- reason I like to roll up because I get it very, in my mind, when I say I'm going to try something, I get it very adrenaline up yeah. <laughs> and I'm going way too fast most of the time, you know? I'll run and throw down like that day at El Toro. I was at the top. I was like, all right, right here, no roll ups. I'm just going to try it. I ran, <laughs> threw down, and I'm rolling up, placing my feet where they need to be. And all I hear the cracks going like, tung, 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 like yeah. and I'm just like, this is way too fast. Like that, that like yeah, noise that, sequence is way right. too quick mm-hmm. for how I usually skate a handrail in the streets. So, cause usually a lot of the schools here have all those cracks. Sure. So I was just like, that's too, that was too fast. I, I rolled up, stopped. I was like, took a deep breath. I was like, all right, had everything ready to go. Now I just got to go a little slower. So then I went back and I like screamed. I was like, all right, guys, right here. Everyone at the bottom gassed up. And I heard them just scream super loud. I was like, all right, like, that's all I need. Let's go. Ran through down, heard the the cracks were a little slower, like, tatung, 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 tatung. And I was like, all right, that sounds mellow. <laughs> and then that's when I went to pop my tail. I was like setting up and I, you know, went to crouch down. And there's that moment where you, there's you There's going no or back. not yeah. <laughs> yeah you know once you hit a certain point of the crouch you can't get out of it yes. <laughs> yeah. so i was just like crouched down and i just like i was like all right fuck it went to pop and that's when i blacked Black. out yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, that crazy? Straight just blacked rally. out just i remember feeling the rail feeling the the little like dip in it sure. and just feeling my four wheels hit the ground and i'm just like oh standing up still <laughs> And that's when I like, that's like, yes. I open my eyes and I'm like, oh my right. God. You see it and in I your see face. the, yeah, I look at the sky and put my arms in the air, like, yeah, like I just survived, like, yeah, survived Goliath. I love it, man. Yeah, Ty and everyone on the team, were they surprised that you win? Like, you, you actually told them that. Uh, no, but like, that you actually tried that one try. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Did because anyone Ty, ask, can you do it again? Like, were you like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he did not but, ask you to do it again. Ty did not. Like, yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro, you, you he he got the shot. We, he, we got the shot. He, he got the, the shot. He got the cover. Uh, it was, it was, it well, he was, it was, it was in his mind. He seen it happen first try. So in, in his mind, he was like, maybe he'll do it again. And that's yeah. a problem. Yeah, a better that, one. That's no, what no, I was no. thinking too. Because when you say, when I heard like, oh, Jamie did that first try, I'm thinking like. And Damn, I get the, that. And I understand the, the that. The poor it's hard. filmers and photographers. Yeah. Because they're sitting there. They're not warmed up. They don't have their little angles done. But yeah. you 50 that's, 50 that's, to the bunch. That's, that's why. That's I when do Jamie that does his too. job. So they got to practice. Yeah. That's when Jamie does his job. Like, you ready? You ready? Yeah. All right, let's no, but go. But he told mm-hmm. them. Yeah. But, yeah. but also, 
a fifty a front crook is very different than a fifty fifty. Yeah, right? yeah. So it's going to be taken at a different time. Yeah. It's going to be you know everything's going to move a little differently. Yeah, yeah. So if you had tried it two or three times, yeah. The photographers and the filmers, but yeah, they can but look at yeah. their photos. I think more yeah, photographers, yeah. right? The mm-hmm. filmers can get their little. Yeah, you know, the like filming. Boom, the filming in, is usually out. down, and I get the I get all the aspects of everybody. Right. And yeah, doing something first try or like just getting it quick is like hard for especially it's photographers. Yeah. Okay. Especially photographers because yes. all the timing and everything you need but to when do. You're, when you're a Tiba, like you know, and anti, like these guys are, like I said, yeah, top but of the food chain. yeah, yeah. They're, they're under hey, that pressure they, all the time. Everyone had yeah. everyone, you know, everyone, you know. So he stuff questioned happened. himself too, like, but do he got the shot? He yeah. got the shot. He did. You know? He did. It, it worked out. That's what I, he. It was just Ty came up to me. He asked me. He was like, "Hey, like." Atiba was wondering. <laughs> I love that. I was I love like, no, Atiba, we're like, good. I was, my like, guy. I was just like, like, yeah, no, the sorry. The kid across the street was wondering if you could You're do like, it again. Like, yeah, I, missed no, it. I blacked out, man. Oh, I was man. like, sorry, I, I can't do that again. I won't do it again. <laughs> if we didn't get the photo, like, I'm fine with that. Like, <laughs> Were you bummed when they nodded the whole thing? Eh, not really. <laughs> I think you, you probably stoked. I was like, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I mean, nothing, yeah, nothing. I mean, that's the thing. I've I've had my, I've offered my homies for me to go unknob it, like, for other people. Okay. Like, I have okay. homies that want to skate it, and I'm down to go unle- unleash the beast. I'm not worried about people one-upping. If someone goes and flick front crooks it, I'll be Ooh, stoked. Geez. Like, I'm not worried about people like, damn, you just flicked into my trick or anything like right. that. I'm not one of those yeah, people, so sure. yeah, I don't mind at all. You paved okay. the way for them. That's Straight all. Yeah, I don't mind. If you yeah. want to go flick into that thing, go for it. You go showed them it was nuts. possible. Yep. Yeah, right? I'll go, I'll go. Nobody's standing on giants. Yeah. I'll go try it, man. Yeah, that. Nah. front crook. Yeah. Wow, let's, 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 let's watch that. Let's compare. Yeah. <laughs> let, Jay, Jamie's laughing hysterically. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> let, I want to compare crook, uh, front crooks, right? Okay. You got one side of the side over here, huge El Toro, 20 stairs. And then you got this on the other side, which is longer and more of a kink. Mm. How do the two compare as in trying something like that? Because that's absolutely that, insane through three kinks. I don't know. That last one. Yeah, that's a weird a one. Weird one. But it's a round it's an weird. Course. Yeah. Because you're, look at you. I mean, it's almost the same passion. Yeah, it's funny. As I, the saw, El Toro. I mm-hmm. saw like, well, it's different. One was like. More, I was like, oh, I survived. Like the El Toro yeah. one was more of a survival. This sure. was, <laughs> this was more of a battle. Like this took hours. So this was more of, or kind probably, of like I, a, took, I think the day I landed it, it took like an hour. This is more of a kind of quote unquote like tech. Yeah, exactly. Trick Way more compared tech. Compared to yeah, yeah, because gotcha. okay. yeah, getting in was like kind of scary, but it's kind of low. It's really low oh. for how a kinked rail is. Like okay. mm-hmm. it, it doesn't tell. look low, but like it's like pretty much a little bit above knee. Mm-hmm. So like getting into oh, it, wow. is, and, and it, it's mellow. It's mellow. Yeah. It's super mellow. The first kink is m- super mellow, and it's all grass on the side. So like getting into it, yeah, getting into it wasn't hard. Got you. Going through the first kink wasn't hard, and just like pretty much the hard part was going over that last knuckle. Oh. I only made it over that knuckle twice, and then right there I knew I was landing it on this one because oh, I was wow. like perched over it. Right. Yeah. Every time I would le- go over the knuckle, I'd be leaning towards the grass. Oh, so every wow. other time. Yeah. So I would just like. Had a lead, like I was like, all right, because it was a long rail, so I would like, I'd get over that knuckle in my mind, I'd be like, oh, like get scared, lean over into the grass, so I'd only make it halfway down the last part, and I was like, all right, I'm either gonna like get stuck and pitch and fall somehow and like chest the rail or something, or I'm gonna make it to the end. So that that try, like I made it over the knuckle and was standing on top of the rail still, Mm -hmm. and that one like worked. (laughs) Well, see how your board pitches right here. See how it goes from yeah. Watch my back foot. My back foot comes off. That's what I'm saying. Like you, it's almost like you have to not force it to do that, but actually like go along for that ride. You do. You have to like that. You say like, here we go. You gotta trust it almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I had to trust it. That was the hardest part. Was to trust it. That was like. It's, it's funny watching this is like it's so many people are always crook. yeah 100 percent and it's funny because like a lot of people always ask me like why was he mad like when I hit the door and oh stuff. you're probably you're trying to get yeah, right yeah it's oh. like I watched something the other day when Tony Hawk was talking about a trick where you try it for so long that like once you land yeah. it you can't even enjoy it for a second <laughs> you know like you're just like you know I was I was pissed like. Right there, I was pissed for a second, and then I would like right there. I walked off and like laid in the grass and started yeah. laughing and like being so happy because that was like a whole thing like. We went there like three weeks or it was like a month and a half prior to this day. Like we went there on the way of me and Zion doing this Bronson for a uh, photo uh, shoot. Oh. And it was in Bakersfield or whatever. And on the way up to Bakersfield, uh, I just flew in from Florida for the, it was like kind of during the COVID era. And it was like straight up like, all right, only you and Zion are coming. And like, you know, uh, 
we're in, I was in Florida and they're like, oh, we thought you were in California, but I was hanging out in Florida for most of COVID mm. and everything. So I was just like, no, I'm in Florida right now. And they're like, oh, we'll buy you a flight. Like you got to fly out here in like two days for a couple days. And I was like, all right, cool. And I've always wanted to go there. And it's always like a really far mission. It's uh, so far. It's like going to Bakersfield. It's like an hour east. Where is this? Oh, the mountain. More, like, okay. Near like Lake Isabella or something. Or I don't know where that is. Yeah, it's like really far. Yeah. It's in the middle of no, like the road that you take is like, you can't go faster than like 30 miles an hour because gotcha. it's just through the, the cuts. through the mountains. Yeah. yeah. Huh. So I was like, the first time we went there, they flew me in. And then I was like, hey, on the way to Bakersfield, there's this giant perfect kink road that I've seen people <laughs> skate. And I was like, I want to go check it out. They're like, cool. So we went there. Drop me a pin. Even during COVID, there were teachers there. So I got kicked out in one day three times. And they were following us around the neighborhood. It was like, it was hectic. It was pretty gnarly. So then I was like, damn it. Like, I actually, I went there to 50-50 it. And I was like, oh, I want to try to front crook it. Mm. But that's like literally the same thing. I was like, got there. I was like, I don't want to try this today. Like, there's no way. And then I was just grinding it a bunch. I was like, you know what? Like, if I don't try it today, when am I going to try it? Mm-hmm. So I ended up trying it that day and then was like 30 minutes in a teacher came, kicked us out. We left, came back for another 30 minutes, warmed up, start trying it again, get kicked out again. Oh man! And then this, that second time a teacher got in her car and followed us around the town. It's a tiny town, oh. but she followed us around the town for like 10, 15 minutes until we started taking like a dirt road. Cause it's in the middle of the desert. <laughs> so we started damn. taking a dirt road in the middle of nowhere. She finally dipped off from us. Serious about her and school. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. They were so mad. Then we went oh. back and then they got so mad at us. And I was just like, did hey. they remember you? Oh yeah. <laughs> They're like, not again. Like, I'm just like, I'm so sorry. Like, you're, yeah, I'm going to keep coming you're back leaving here. Me no choice. Just yeah. Let yeah. Me land it. Like you're leaving me no choice. If you just give me some time, I'll probably be able to do it and you'll never see me again, but yeah. I'm going to have to keep coming here and do this and i'm like this is annoying for me as much as it is for you <laughs> right pretty much right. so and then they're just super mad and then finally like once i was like made a joke about it and was kind of cool they cooled down and they were mm-hmm. calm with us and stuff but they were just say you guys gotta leave so we we're oh, like all right whatever we left and then it was crazy like someone hit me up like that goes to the school or whatever and they just dm me and they just showed me a, they just dm me a photo of the rail with uh, knobs on it no like welded on like gotcha. straight welded knobs Not and i was busters. like i was oh. like damn like this sucks so like hmm. like i was just like man well, you know what like you know you could do anything you could fix anything and i was just like I'll, i'm gonna make sure i can get mine <laughs> like, you know, I'm not gonna let that stop me. Damn. I had a homie no I had a homie go there. Okay. He asked me for the pin and I didn't know the rail was knobbed. And then he went and like or actually I didn't know the rail was knobbed. Gotcha. After the homie already this kid hit me up on Instagram showing me with a photo. I told my homie he was already on his way there and he was like, Oh no, well I'm gonna go see what's up with them. Took a photo and everything and like sh- took a video so I could see how bad it was. Right. And they were just like literally lug nuts welded shut welded all the way around like just mm. kink bro, just hit them off no nah, they were on there thick uh, so i was like yeah because i've seen ty rip off like with a actually you could see him right there yeah with oh, a yeah with a oh, vice grip yeah. i got we've been places like that and it's been a tack weld which is like the pre-weld and yep. if they're tack welded then you could just rip them off with a uh like a vice grip, a vice grip. Yeah. right so i asked my homie that and he's like no like these things are really welded on the weld was like thick too like yeah. on there and they sanded the weld down, like, so that way it was like, mm. it, yeah, it was a lot of work. Jeez. And I was like, no, like, I got to figure it out. And went there, like, on the way up to SF one trip with me, J-Bone, Pedro, like, the Death Wish dudes. Handle business. Yeah, you know, how to handle the business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Amazing. And yeah, dude. thankfully, that's why, like, that entered, like, that, when I landed, it was more, like, after the Nas were off, I didn't know if the Nas were off good enough for it to work. Right. I thought like maybe the rail won't grind as good as it did before. Maybe those little notches are going to mess me up. But like got there and it all went good and waxed them up. And then like that's when I landed that one. Just like oh, dude, a lot so of much energy. Yeah, so, so much wild. stuff going into that one trick. A lot of work went into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? This is what I love because we don't know these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we just think you, oh, Jamie went there and front crooked. Yeah, yeah. He probably did yeah. a fifth try. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that one. Shit. Yeah, there's certain things like certain, chasing through park. High yeah. speed chases through parking yeah. lots. Yeah, and, and we literally waited. We, the things you got to do. We waited in the parking lot for like 20 minutes. We're like, oh, See? yeah. It, like, they should be gone. We left the parking lot. They left the parking lot with us. Uh, like, really, it was crazy. I like, can tell how hard you worked for it just by when you get mad at the end. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But you didn't know. Yeah, all the totally. Things that lead up to I, that. I love seeing your reaction after your clips because that's how I tell. 
Like it you came up front crook down the big ass rail. Yeah, that was all. Oh I was like, the story behind that is <laughs> insane to me. Which one was it? The oh, flick front crook on Diamond Bar. Uh, that's the one with the stairs on the other side. That was yeah, yeah. That was one of the that was one of my ones that I was like thought I was never gonna get. And the photo came out before I landed it. Like, mm. oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. That, that was happens. that was the last clip I got before the Death Wish video came out, and it was like five days before. I went back probably like seven times to do it. Oh, was there for like an hour or two. Now, like, did you just time. flip? Through, sorry to interrupt. Did you just flip through the mag and see it, or did you know it was going to be published? No, nah, it was kind of on my. Who shot the photo? Jake. Jake Darwin, but exactly it was more of a my my bad mm. than Jake's bad. Jake obviously has trying to get no paid. yeah one not He's trying to get job. paid. Yeah. Got a great photo, of Jamie yeah, Ford. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All he had to do is stop the moment. It was just a little uh, a little uh, miscommunication between us where he was like we had a bunch of fo- we had a couple photos uh, that we took took taken together that was gonna be in like the Death Wish video and the Death Wish article was coming out soon, so I was like. Hey, uh, he's like, here, th- these are the photos we got recently, and they're going to be in the Death Wish video, so the article's coming out soon. You want these to be sent in? And then he's like, what about the flick front crook? Should I send that in as well? I was like, yeah, sure, so, like, send them all in, but like, yeah, I'm going to make sure I go back and get that flick front crook. Right. And he's like, all right, for sure. Thinking that, me thinking that he was like, in the, in the little email, like at the bottom of the photo, like didn't land it yet. You know, going like, back, yeah. yeah, just going back, like thinking that was like a thing. I don't know how exactly. I don't know how when photographers send stuff in that they just when you know, no, all right, here's just, the photos, here's these yeah. photos. Yeah. So I was just like thinking, oh yeah, he'll probably just like send it to Burn Dog and like have like little things. I've been, because I've been with people where they've been like, oh, like I showed Burnett the photo. He wants like it's sick. Like you, you gotta they, go get you, it. You, they want you to go get it. Right, right. So like I've heard that. So I was like, oh, they're probably gonna be like, oh, he didn't land this yet, and they want to. Yeah, and sent like that. So, so the article came out. The article came out, <laughs> and the flick front crook was in. The capture said didn't land it yet. And yeah. it's funny <laughs> because literally before the article came out, I went, I went there with the photo being taken. I was there twice, two different times to do it, and then we got the photo. This photo that I think we used, I think, was from the second try. Mm. I went there to do it, and then uh, I, he was like, "I was like, I'm coming back to land this," because in my mind it was funny, like as like around like the time that I was here last, it was probably like four or five years ago. I was like, if whenever I have a pro part and if I do a big flick front crook, like I'm like, I went to diamond bar. I was like, this is going to be my flick front crook. <laughs> like, I was like, this is like something I claimed. That was yeah. a claim for me too. Is like, if whenever I have a pro part, this is I'm flick front crooking this thing. So I was like, all right, I had parts come out when I was already pro and I didn't do it. And I've always thought about it in the back of my mind. I was like, damn, like I really want to do this. It's got to be an important part though. Cause some parts I put out, you know, like, if you put out a lot of parts out, some get swept under the rug in senses because a lot of stuff comes out nowadays. Sure. So I was just like, if I do it, I need it in something like that. So I know it's going to be memorable. Got you. So then their Death Wish video is coming out and I was like, okay, like, you know, I've always wanted to be a part of, you know, a, my, like being on Death Wish, I would love to be on a full length video with them. Mm-hmm. This is my, like, technically in my mind, like debut pro part because it's like a full video of the Death Wish crew. Yeah. Like growing up, that's what I've viewed as like a full part, like mm-hmm. stuff. You know, Absolutely. being a part of a whole project together. Yeah. And that was the first time we all together were a part of a full project. So I was like, this is what I'm going to do it on. And I'm going to do it in this video. So we went and got the photo. And I was like, yeah, I'm landing it for this video no matter what anyways. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't care if I have to come back. If I land it the next time I come back or if I come back 10 times from now, right. I'm doing this flick front crook. And also because the first time I went there, I got into it first try. Oh. And it was like, I got into it first try, got to the end of the rail. And I just like... Didn't think I was going to get in, and I was. it happened so quick right. that by the time I was at the end of the rail, I already, in my mind, jumped off. Bailed in. And literally, I seen the board go from my feet to the ground, and the board just rolled away. <laughs> the board landed it. Yeah, pretty much the, the board, board landed The board, like, I, I got Whoa. into a flick front crook, jumped off over the rail, and my, I'd literally seen my board pretty much rolling away. I was like, I could have just done this. Like, Oh, my God. Like, that's why I And thought, then what, did you get fuck. stuck? Yeah, and, then, it yeah for... and I was trying it for, like, 30, 45 minutes, oh, and I was like, man. with me, for flicking tricks, a lot of times they work... They work quicker than they do work long. Like gotcha. if it's if it's gonna work, it's gonna work in the first twenty minutes rather mm-hmm. than being in there for an hour trying a flick in mm-hmm. trick. Like your legs are gonna be so like so much is going on that I think it won't work. Right. Yeah. So every time I went there it was like thirty minutes at the most usually, and it was just like going there the first two times we went got all that done the photo and I was like I'm gonna go back and get it 
and then I went back two more times, didn't get the clip yet. So I was went four times already. And then Jake hit me up about the photo, and I was like, yes, yeah, send it. I'm going back next time. I'm landing it for sure. Right. And then thinking he still was going to send that whole, like, oh, you didn't do it yet. <laughs> <laughs> but then... But you said you going to do it. Yeah, I did say I was going to do it. Yeah. So I was like, no matter what, before this video comes out, I'm doing it. And then the photo comes out, and I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> like, it came out already. Like, damn it. Now we have, like, it was like a month. It was like maybe six six weeks from the photo coming out time to the end of the video, like deadline. And I was like, all right, well, realistically, I could try this week and then this next week is a break and then I'll try this week. And then, you know, I just kind of had it plotted down right. and it was like gotten to like me going back six or seven times now. Damn. Jeez. It was like six times, I think. Imagine if that photo ran cover. It, nah. <laughs> I, I would have been there even stressing harder. I was already stressing already. I was like, talk to Andrew about it. Andrew was telling me like one of the first photos he ever had ran as a kid. Like never, he never even landed it and stuff like that. Yeah. He's like, I'm like, bro, I'm stressing. Like I'm going to be a flaw. Like I can't even like, <laughs> I'm gonna be a flaw. Like I'm, I'm like, it's just not, it can't, it isn't, isn't good on the resume. You know, right, right, right. I can't have that. So I was just, just leave it off the resume. I, I was that. stressing I so hard. I was like, funny. oh, I was like, man, this is bad. This is real bad. If it's in here, like if it's in the mag, I have to, it has to be like done. Yes. So then that was all going through my mind of going back and getting, getting smoked <laughs> multiple times, trying mm -hmm. it. Like every time I went there. I didn't just walk away from it because I was over it. I would get smoked and be done. And I was like, all right, now I got a week and a half until I can go back and try it again. Oh, and it was just like so much was going on. I was coming down to it. And it was like, there. I was getting clips in between too. So I was like, all right, I'm getting these clips. This weekend is it. And then it wouldn't happen. So I was just so down on myself. The last time we went there was literally a week and a half before the video premiere or something like that. Or before the video was supposed to be like... Did you wear the same clothes as the uh, photo? Nah, I didn't care about it. Yeah. That, that I don't really care about because, I, I mean, it. like, the clip is so fast and everything's like, yeah. you know... if the A lot of times the photo isn't the land, but, you know, the photo's yeah, the photo. Yeah. You Absolutely. land the trick, you land the trick, yeah. whatever. Yeah. So right. I'm not really stressing on that and because I was, especially I was stressing on so many other things already. I was like, right. I don't care about my clothes at all what shoelace color was i wearing like, <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. shoes all yeah. Shoes, yeah. whatever like yeah. especially if you're going back like that many times yeah, i'm not even thinking about the shoes or <laughs> or clothes or anything sure going so i was just works. like i need to land this worrying about that land yeah the last day i went there we got there and i was just like as soon as i pulled up in the parking lot it's me beagle kaylin and my homie nikolai and it was like, usually we had a big crew going there to hype me up yeah. and stuff like that. But this time it was a little small crew. So I was like, all right, cool. Small crew will be a lot easier to just give up. <laughs> like in my mind, pretty much. Like in my mind, got to the parking lot. It'll be, it's going to be very easy to just walk away from this today. Yeah. yeah. But even, even if you had a big crew and people were skating with you, they could just like, you yeah. could just walk away. And yeah. But I, but I see yeah. the, uh, yeah. I see yeah. the. Yeah. Like, oh, this is a lot easier. I could just, oh, only three people. Yeah. Right. That I'm going to disappoint today. I'm not going yeah. to hurt their feelings. Yeah. Right. They're, 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 I'm right. always with these people. So <laughs> they, they get me. Yeah. yeah. It's all good. The mentality. I see the mentality. Yeah. 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 So I'm just like, oh, this is going to be easier today to just not do it. I got literally driving there was pretty much I don't want to do this today <laughs> at all. Like it was just like so got you're to probably that, fed up with this. Yeah, I got yeah. it got to the point where one I felt like it beat me already, and then two that I'm not just in my mind thought I was like damn I'm not as good as I kind of thought I was. Like in my mind I was like damn this this shit really got me. So I was like right. kind of bummed, like pretty bummed about the whole situation. Would you do it like third try? Nah, that day I was like realistically I got there and I was like all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grind it a bunch of times like I do with, with everything. And I was like, all right, then I'm going to front crook it. Because one day I went there out of the whole bunch of times. I think it was the fourth time or fifth time I went there. I tried to front crook it. I didn't even land it. Like Usually I'd land the front crook first try. That mm. day I didn't land it first try. And I was like, all right, didn't land it first try. Like, this is terrible. It's done. It's oh, already it's a bad done. day. Like, yeah, it's already a bad day. And High expectations. Yeah. Right? No, like dude. that day I was it's like. Jamie Foy. Came here. Yeah, yeah, believe me, I know. And I was like, <laughs> today's not the day. But then that every other time before that i was like all right if i come here and i front crook it first try then all right then i'm gonna be able to try it that day i got there i was like i don't even really want to grind this thing i ended up grinding it a bunch of times i was like all right i could i'm gonna try the whole front crook and if it front crooks then fuck i have to try it so then i front crooked it and i was like damn kind of wanted to fall <laughs> <laughs> but like you know mentally i just had to do it myself yeah. you know like and i was just like man like all right guys i got you like let's do this and it's beagle at the bottom Kalen on the set with the fisheye, and I'm rolling up a bunch that day. I rolled up so many times, like I couldn't get myself to pop and flick and mm. go put my front foot on the rail, like do the motion. I couldn't get myself to do that. And every other day I was there to do it, I would try it no problem. 
and usually get in in the first five tries good and almost doing it and then i would get further from the from the product gotcha. like that's yeah. how it usually works first 10 right. to 20 minutes i'm close in it. and then after that i'm just getting further and further away and just beating myself life. up especially yeah. on a big rail like that. you ever that. try and mix it up and just try different tricks and then come back to it sometimes yeah it but like if i'm like fixating on a trick i'm like too deep yeah so locked i was just in. like yeah i was so locked in that day and then that i got smoked like one of those days and then the last Start day the dragon yeah exactly that's where i was pretty pretty much at that point in my mind where i'm like yeah. what am i doing here but then I front crooked it and I was like, all right, guys, I'm gonna try it. They all set up and I'm rolling up a bunch and a bunch and a bunch and I just keep rolling up and I started screaming at the top of my lungs, which is like, <laughs> I don't really do that stuff that often. Right. Like, so like Kaylin and Beagle are just in there, like, oh shit. Like, <laughs> He's serious like, right now. Yeah, yeah something's up, up. like something's up with him right now. Yeah. Like, this this yeah, kind of sucks. Is Kaylin like, like your main, like, yeah, you hang out, yeah, Kaylin, he lives with me now, right yeah. now, but we also like film all the time. Yeah. Like, he works at Death Wish. He's a Death I Wish filmer. I've seen like shot like a lot of your stuff. Yeah, and like that's just we grew up filming together, so it's just like good relationship. We're always Florida together. Well. Yeah, he's from Florida, Maybe. and we're just like always been filming together. And he's really good at filming, so right. I know that if I want to try something, he's gonna he's like gonna be there. Yeah, he's gonna have me handled. Like I'm not have to worry about how Reliable. it comes out. Yeah, yeah. 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 anytime he films something, it's like. 98% of the time it's good yeah like you know yeah. it's like no hard, worries. hard, no worries. hard yeah. to get perfect yeah. but what do you do with that 2% though hey 2% <laughs> every, anyone messes up man yeah. I, you know yeah. anyone messes up 2% Raj was about a three percent. I, mean, I was with Ty. I was at about nine. I was with Ty the other day. It's funny. I was with Ty, Ty the other day. Up. He fucked up on one clip where I had to f do it four different times. Whoa. I had to do the clip four times. Oh wow! And he still he came up to me the other day. He's like, you know, remember that back when you nose grind in Florida? I was like, yeah. He's like, still to this day, I cannot believe I made you do it four times. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I'm so like that is my big one of my biggest mess ups ever. I was like. Dude, it's all good. Like, it wasn't even like that. It was scary to do, but once I did it once and then twice, I was like, oh, it's not bad. <laughs> and then, like, he was just like, it's so funny. Because that's the thing. Everyone messes up. Everybody, yeah, yeah, it, happens. it all happens. It happens. It yeah. happens. But, yeah. I'm, he's going to live up to his reputation. Wait, yeah. four, four yeah. times, though? I did it four times. The no, I'm saying he, he, he that you had to do it three four times. times. He messed up three times. Wow, that's not that's not. Yeah, that's he not was time. tweaking. Yeah, he yeah. was freaking out for sure. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Everyone's got their days, you know. Yeah, yeah. it was the only Ty filming. Or did that he have day, like that day was else there? only Ty's angle was the one he messed up. Like only wow. his walking like oh. angle. So with oh, that's a tough movie. Movie. With the movie, with the movie, with the movie and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, gotcha. so there's a lot of stuff going on. The movie's hard to use. Yeah, especially like it's like. 50 pounds. Yeah, it's right. so it's heavy. Rig. Yeah. So, like, oh. everyone, you know, everyone messes up at time to time. Sure. Kalen, thankfully, he doesn't really mess up. I've, I've seen filmers kind of mess up a lot sometimes. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's why I like having Kalen around because usually, and he likes, he films the way I like stuff being filmed because there's a bunch of different ways you can film things. That's important. But, like, me and him kind of, like, whenever he films something, like, when he thinks he filmed it good, it's like the way I, I would imagine it being filmed. Oh, that's, that's good. Because at the same time, that's it's dope. so hard as a skateboarder to tell the filmer yeah, you don't how tell you like to do. How it's filmed, maybe yeah. you're not in the he's not in the right position where yeah. you think it's not gonna You think look one good. angle is gonna be mm. better than the other, but then like it doesn't really translate. You know not, what I mean? Yeah, there's a like, lot of stuff. So having on. that filmer there that you know you don't even have to think about now. Yeah. He's right. there nah. and yeah. you're good. You I just, focus I on I look at him, I'm like, You're good, you're ready, and he's you, you guys yep. are thinking the yep. same. Yeah, guys, exactly. Like yeah. that's all I want is I want to be able to look at someone and be like, You ready? And they're just like Yep, because I'm like, the, all right, cool. Now I can just focus on this because I know you're good. It's Jeez. the worst if you're yeah. trying a trick and you don't like the angle that yeah. they're, you haven't even seen it yet, but you don't like where they yeah, are. Yeah, you're yeah. like, I think it would look better. Yeah, with even Kaylin, if they're yeah. stoked on the angle, you still could be like, no. You know I what I mean? Yeah, 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 it yeah, can yeah, really yeah. mess yeah. with your head. I don't head. think yeah. I've ever done that just based on the filmers that I filmed with. I think that they yeah, you're like you always take their shit. I mean, if you get Ty, if you get Ty, you're like, all right, whatever Ty says. But dude, you know what? I filmed plenty of things with Roger, and I would never. That's just this is just me. But at the same time, I like, never question it's, your filming it's, it's a communication thing. It's like, um, yeah. I was actually shooting someone with Tim the other day, and like, I was like, dude, like, you're bugging me out because like, I see you in front of me, right? Can you get uh, me yeah. outside? Yeah, but yeah, Tim's not happens. making a video like Flat Earth, or, oh no, <laughs> yeah. know, like, he's got a GoPro <laughs> pointing at me, he's yeah. got a GoPro, yeah. yeah, but you know, it's happened to me a lot, even yeah. with Ty, and it's nothing against Ty, it's just in my own mind, yeah, it's yeah, like. Yeah. Ty, you're gonna use a crane for this? It would look so good fit in my exactly. mind. I'm like, this yeah, is yeah. that's when you're overthinking it. Too, yeah. Like, what about this? I totally. Yeah. But yeah. I'm thinking in my mind. Yeah, I've thought that a lot with like flat Earth. That's all I know is fisheye long lens. Yeah. And he didn't do any of that. He's doing other. So I, I, I'm fully in that situation. I was just sitting back, like, yeah, I'm gonna do these tricks and. You're gonna make it look good. You yeah, just yeah, capture yeah. it. You capture right. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it, and you do that. Jamie, so, yeah. do you have a preference on uh, what camera people use? I mean, right now, obviously, it's just like the whole like. Uh,
I mean, I know they got like a 4K version of it. So now you're not like too. bummed if someone shows up with like with a uh, VX or a Red or. Ah, never bummed if someone yeah. shows up with a VX. Never bummed about yeah. that. And then, yeah, I mean, Reds, kind of weird. <laughs> Joe, they're good. <laughs> It, just, it depends on how you film and stuff it's like that. It's a big that. price tag. Like, yeah, it's a big price tag. <laughs> Ty, yeah. Ty films on his reds, and you know, right. like he's like that's what he films the way he films. You yeah. know, yeah. that's the thing. It's like more me is like I respect the filming that Ty does and how he does it is how he does it. And but you know, my favorite way is obviously just you know the stuff that's how it. I think it traditionally should be filmed as traditional. Right. Like yeah. just but does it ever trip you out to like fish eye and Ty's like chasing after you with like a fifty thousand dollar rig? I mean it always tripped me out. Yeah. But I just think I mean he loves to do it, so that's all that matters. He's put himself yeah. in that problem. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Like and he's not bummed at all. Like he's never complaining about any I've never heard Ty complain about anything. It's it's yeah. very rare. Like yeah. very rare. It's not more of like I've heard him be bummed about something, but it's not complaining. Yeah. No. Like literally never complaining about anything. Especially he, filming a line, he's running with a movie dude. for like four I mean, hours. And still like, giving you like, like with Carlos like Carlos Icky, like oh my God. Like oh my God. he has really gnarly tricks in that part that take four hours, yeah. five hours. Yeah. And, and Ty's just standing there the whole time like <sighs> you ready? Like all you right. got this. I, like you got this. while he's while yeah. while Carlos is taking a break, Ty like has me holding the Movi and he's just doing push-ups or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's like I the most fit vibe. dude right yeah, now. Too. He's yeah. been like that for quite Same, some time. Dude, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's in, yeah. And he's, he's always the first person to give you a pound and reassure yeah. you. Yeah, oh, he's the first good. person to hype yeah. you up. You know, yeah. Which is which is great. Which, yeah, to me, is like that's great. that's also why I have like, like I, ha- I like having Kalen around. He always hypes me up. Yeah. He's always super hyped to film. He's never like, oh, I want to, he's never down to do something else other than film more, right. you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, it's never like, if he has the option to go film someone or just like, you know, like go to the beach. You know, some people would be like, "Oh, I want to. I'd rather go to the beach today." Like he's just, nah. Let's go film. Like yeah. it's he's like, in it with you guys. yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's just in it to like be straight up, go filming and you know, point the camera at his friends and that are yeah. skating and yeah. he's make got a it look good. To try to like happen. Yeah, yeah. You need somebody that's just as much passionate about what they do. Yeah, as what you yeah. Do. it's why yeah. it's sick that yeah. like I helped him out and got like helped him get the job at Death Wish and stuff. And also, mm-hmm. I mean, he did a lot of his own, like proving that he could hang out with everyone and yeah. film great and Amazing. like you know got the approval from Reynolds. And that's really all that matters, I think. And hey, you got yeah. the stamp. Yeah, you got the stamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He filmed and edited that whole like pretty much the last video in Texas. He oh, sick. Much, he filmed yeah. oh, him and Beagle filmed it, and then yeah. Kalen fully edited it and. Pretty sure Reynolds like didn't really want to touch it, and he was so stoked on that. I, love I remember that. him. He was just like, he was like, yes, like, that's super. That. He didn't even want to touch it. He I knows was, he's doing. He sent good. yeah, he sent the edit in saying like, oh like yeah, let me know what you need to fix or what I need to fix. And then Andrew's just like, no, nah, we're good. And he's Damn. just like he's so hyped. <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I love yes, that, bro. yeah. <laughs> Let's talk um, about I, this I, trick. No, we, didn't, we didn't. Oh, finish, we didn't finish we didn't the, finish front the story. The front kick front crook. That is true. Jesus Christ, dude. We've been on the kick for front crook for forty five minutes. Go ahead. No, yeah. So yeah. Hey. That's what I'm saying. That's what that's what's behind these tricks. Yeah. A, lot, I love that. a lot of stuff. No, 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 Listen, no. there was a lot of lefts and rights right it there. It was. So what, but pretty much long. I mean, long no, story wait. still long. <laughs> long story long. Yeah. Pretty much that day. So I'm rolling up and I say like, Kalen's on the stairs. Beagle's on the on the like at the end filming long lens, and. Literally, I was rolling up a bunch, screaming, and I could tell that they were like, damn, okay, he might not try this one or two. Mm. Like, today's not the day. Like, we thought it was because I was telling them, like, even though in my mind I was rolling up saying, oh, yeah, I'm not doing this. I was rolling up or telling my homies in the car, like, today's the day. Like, you know, yeah, I yeah. just like like to talk positive to, you know, make it better. In your yeah. mind, it's in a whole a different sense, story. Yeah, yeah, in my mind, I'm kind of freaking out. Yourse- you don't doubt yourself. Nah, you don't want to ever put yeah. it. And if you do, don't put it out there. Don't, and then yeah. don't go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> straight up. So I got there and I was just straight up. Like, couldn't get myself to flick and jump down the set and try it. And then I was just like rolling up, freaking out. And I was like, you know what? Like, I drove all of them here. Like, Beagle drove here. Like, I need to at least jump, like, down the stair set. So I started rolling up, which is different because usually I would just go straight for a flick front crook and get in or get close to it in the first couple of tries. Mm. This day I went there, I was like, rolling up wouldn't even pop my board and just sail down the set just oh. jumping like with my feet sail. i couldn't even get myself to do anything you know so then slowly i started kick flipping over the rail like at the rail and i was like all right now i know i can f- pop flick i'm gonna try to put it on the rail i pop flicked put it on the rail and i was like all right like it might work today and I was trying it getting you know just the normal like missing and falling and missing and falling for a while and then one of the tries i stuck it which was the first i never even stuck one you know that was like I, I was like, oh, ran up the set, tried a couple more, and then literally I was just like, 
I was like at this point, like kind of just like pleading to God and like everything, <laughs> yeah. just like, come on, like what else do I have to do? Like, I don't get it. I was like fucking with the run up where I was like, all right, do I throw down at this crack instead of this crack? Do uh, I take five uh, steps instead of four steps? Do I do I loop my bearings? Yeah, uh, right. uh, never that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would never, never. I wouldn't even be able to flip at that point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then straight up, never. yeah, and then straight up, I was just one of the tries. I was like, you know what? Here we go. I'm gonna go slower, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna see how this goes. Went slower, got in and grinded all the way to the rail, and I was like, all right, I like the way that felt. I'm gonna do that again and again and again. And I used that same position a few times and then like about five tries of switching up my whole flow of everything, mm-hmm. which I was doing the same thing every time I went there. I was like, all right, I'm going to do something a little different. Gotcha. Then I landed it like five tries later mm. and I was just like- Just by, just by changing your speed a little bit. Yeah, yeah just yeah. by changing my speed. Like a little, a little more control. Taking slower steps and throwing down at an earlier point. Gotcha. Was like, yeah. instead of like- getting all excited and ramped up of like being oh like i need to go and like right. it was more of like cool down calm down think about it collect yeah, yeah. And, and make it happen a little slower you're in a little more control yeah you could mm-hmm. control that flick it's a, a little bit better, it's a little scarier because you know? it's like all right like if it doesn't work it doesn't work right if it works we'll be good and yeah, yeah thankfully it, it's uh, second in slow i landed that and i was <laughs> so gassed i literally was like already going there i was like i'm not landing this before my part comes out everyone's <laughs> everyone's gonna ask me damn where was the flick front crew right. oh i can't even post this photo on instagram yet and like yeah it's just like all all of these emotions i landed it straight up like yeah let's fucking go like i don't know like i love so the roll the way like, yeah, 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 hype, dude. Yeah, that shit had me <laughs> gassed. Like jump into the ga- uh, grass yeah <laughs> i was so hyped i literally like that was one of my like like that was like I was even more hyped than the front crook on El Toro in the sense of like there was a real battle, this was. Yeah. like so much stressing. Like one was like the ba- uh, El Toro was like, oh, I said I was gonna do it. Everyone thinks I'm gonna do it, and I know I can do it. And am I gonna do it? This was like I've tried it so many times, which is like a way different feeling. Rather than like, oh, I did it first try. I was just scared to try. Right. Yeah. This one, it was scary to try, and then I had to try over hundreds i had to try hundreds of times it was a war yeah it was like a real like war. that rail was winning yeah i got tossed to the bottom a couple times like front foot on the rail straight back like i never thought that would be a rail that got kibble front crook that was that, that something rail is huge it was funny because one of the times i went like one of the times i went there and skated it with my homies we posted on instagram that like, we were there on my story and forrest hit me up like yo oh you're skating that rail like like i'd love to come skate it with you man i was just thinking i was like you already trade for grinded. Like, what the hell else do you do? I was like, damn, he might want to flick front crooked. Oh, oh no. Like, oh, you're like, I'll answer this DM a little later. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I hit him up. I was like, oh, yeah, for sure. Like, we get, we should do it. And I just like, honestly, I never hit him up to yeah. when I went. <laughs> But like, yeah, really? and it's funny when I go there, I just think of Forrest doing a trade for 50, 50. Yeah, that's man, incredible. That's yeah. incredible. And that was so long ago. So Hell it was like yeah. insane. Like, that's why I go there. I was like, man, I, I can do this. Like Damn. this shit, like stuff gets done on this thing. So like, yeah. Yeah. I should be able to do this. You and just needed like, the right tempo, bro. Yeah. You, f- yeah. you figured it yeah. out and that's that was it. It, it was that's like, it. that was in one of the biggest emotional stresses for like two months I've ever had in my life. Amazing. It was like, I was like, I was like talking, I had like, I was like calling my mom and being like, mom, like, this photo came out in the mat, like literally just like venting to like yeah. my, like it was yeah. crazy. It's okay, baby. Yeah. You go back and get it. Yeah. It's right. like, they, it doesn't really matter. I was like, but it does, it t- but it really me. does. To like me. it already came out. You don't get it. Like, yeah. <laughs> so much, like so much like venting, like and I do that's love, why I was so hyped. I do love how close you are with your mom and like how, with oh, yeah, the yeah, skate yeah. trips oh, and yeah, the, yeah. Skating, the street so skating. I Having her it. around is the best. Yeah. So sick. I love that. I appreciate it, guys. I will come back to the trick that I just put on the screen mm-hmm. because I want to talk about really quick because you talk about getting slammed mm-hmm. you bodied and all that stuff and yep. like the big rails do come with consequences mm-hmm. oh this is a good one and that you was a gnarly trolley horse take some gnarly Ooh. gnarly slams Jamie like Gravet rail I couldn't oh. did you hit your head nah okay. that was like I almost bubble. hit it yeah those I was scared because those stairs are really sharp concrete yeah. mm. And like, yeah, I got the only thing that happened right there is like, I really, I was like, oh, honestly, like, it wasn't that bad. Mm. It was bad, but it wasn't that bad. Sure. I just had a really bad trolley horse. I so I, oh, I was really mad. God. I stood up. I was like, oh, I'm fine. And then all of a sudden, my leg like locked up. Oh. And I was just like, it's like fuck. Like I can't even like try it again. God, that but would yeah. put me out for months, bro. <laughs> like Dude, I might be in traction in if, the hospital with that. If a regular person did that, oh, dude, duh, dude. 
Look at this. Talk did you, did you wax the reel beforehand? Yeah, that wax that one. Yeah, that was a pinch. That was a over pinch. <sighs> Oh, uh, over too much, pinched, too much weight. Too, too much, much pinch. Got 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 <laughs> Wait a minute, too much pinch. Right through the, and it switched to the TMP, double heel. Dude. Okay, so you, I like, I like, I don't, don't oh, like right there, the right there. See, you and, cross it up, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, back grind, I do cross lock. Front side grind, I do double heel. Oh, wow. front side, you double heel. Yeah, yeah. front side, yeah. I do double heel. Okay. But because never you're, switch your, you never want to switch your. Like, you know, it happens, but whenever you're on a rail, like I was on a cross lock and then I switched to my double heel and that's always a uh, pretty shitty thing. Yeah. We were, you're used to a yeah, certain yeah. weight. Well, yeah. Especially that angle too. Yeah. They, yeah. Well, you had to lift up I right had there. to lift up yeah. and try. Yeah. yeah. And then you're already on and then that. You're right here, right there. Switched in right and then there. straight wheel bite on the yeah. rail. Oh. Yeah. Your board just kind of flipped out from underneath you. So yeah. close too. Got so the wheel close. bite and the board flipped out, and yep, trolley horse, bam. Uh, what makes that slam mm. so gnarly is like the, your hair is just like. Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, it, yeah. It looked like you did hit your head on the stairs. Yeah, it but it looked I'm, like I'm it. glad you did. It's the buckle, yeah. And then there's this one too. It's like you know the slams. Yeah, dude, you got plenty I mean, of this slams. Is, oh, so many slams, <laughs> dude. Majority of the kids that come. That's Jesus that was in Christ. that was in the battle scars on um the barracks, and kids come up to me like. More than my parts say, like, yo, I seen your battle scars. It's so sick. And I'm just like, hey, thanks, man. Dude, like, but hey, you enjoyed he, that. People love the falls, <laughs> yeah, they, bro. They do. They do. I, I hate them. The I hate them. Usually I don't like watching normal them. Normal people, because you know, like, we do this, yeah. th we do this, but yeah. like, it, normal it, people, it they, hurts they, me. They but there's always good like, stories to them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we watch like parkour falls and stuff, and we're just like, ha ha. Oh, like, you know. But people also learn from other people's mistakes. Yeah, that too, you know. Did you land this after the slam? Yeah, yeah. That was like, that. that was first try. That was first <laughs> try. Yeah, that was my first try. How do you get the first try, dude? How do you get the balls to get up there and actually do that again? Then, well, Ricky Benenbaugh was there, and so was Love Playback, Ricky. and I said, so I was like, I have to do this because we're already yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Playback's here. Bro. I thought I'd never. I thought I would never even meet <laughs> Playback in my life. Wasn't Playback that like was, shooting blind? Yeah, yeah. He couldn't watch because that was the first try. He saw that was first try. So then every photo <laughs> after that, that little cut, that like. I think J Jamie Thomas like 180 off of it or whatever yeah. right there like right where Ricky's standing is a little okay. doorway cut and Blayback would take a photo and dip out oh wow. no way he, he's like didn't want to like, watch it he's like you. He, I landed it and I rolled out and he looked at me he's like you did it <laughs> I was like yeah didn't you watch he's like nah every time I took a photo I had to I had to bail out <laughs> I couldn't watch you I couldn't watch it. I couldn't watch it anymore because that was the first try it was funny that was the first <laughs> it's a heavy slam dude you even All hit right. the rail on the How do you get yeah up? yeah that was do it again. so that was the first real try so the first try is that piss on the ground it's no 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 <laughs> <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> it's red bull but the first that that was funny because that was like i was filming for a red bull thing okay. and this was before i was on red bull Ooh. i was only in california for like six months so this was one of my first things where like they're like, Red Bull hit me up like, yo, film these five tricks for this thing. And we got you lined up with Ricky. And like, we're going to get a photographer to come out with you. Red and Bull like, chose a spot. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I saw that was one of my first kink. Okay. I think that was my first kink rail that I've like in the, in the streets that okay. I ever skated. Wow. And that's literally, I was like, my first real, tr my first tries where I would ollie onto the rail and jump to flat. Like jump to the flat. Oh, uh, in the middle. Yeah, just bink, yeah. like touch and jump over. I did that for like five minutes. There's people at the school like still, so I was like, oh, I got to do this quick. I was like, well, I'm not going to know how to get through this kink until like <laughs> I try to get through this kink. Because I have kink rails at my at, like my skate park growing up, but it were like mellow, right, right. super mellow kink rails. And this is like, all right, this is a steep, steep kink with a quick flat. I've never done that before. And a barrel. Yeah. 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 Well, well the, trash can, the trash can was bolted to the end mm. of the rail, so I just shoved. They're like, what are we going to do? I was like, fuck it. Just shove it underneath the rail. Right. So that worked out fine. <laughs> Jesus. And literally, it was like, I'm going to figure out how to do this. And then the first time I went through that kink, bam. That's what happened. That's yeah. what happened. Wow. Smacked my face on the ground, my yeah. hand. It looks like you even hit the rail. <laughs> my the butt. Rail. I your, did. Yeah, your I butt. did. Yeah, yeah. I would have had a shattered butt. Because I was trying to keep my <laughs> upper body, like, I was trying to keep my upper body straight and not, like, lean uh. back. And bro, like flip. <laughs> so I was like, my buttocks would have broke right. I get here, like right bro. there. I can feel the tenseness of it. Chris, dude. Yeah, bro. Oh, my wrist was all bro, buckled. Buttocks. I had my wrist was all buckled. Yeah, already had already had buckled limbs. Yeah, that was. I was so hungry back then, like way more hungry than I am now. Like that was like 
I just moved to California. I was like, I'm, I'm just get. I just started getting flow boards from Baker. Like and you're here with these guys. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm on like Nike, f- like shop flow. Like, oh, what, like I just like need to do stuff, you know. And oh, I, yeah. I was like, dude, that rail was so low to me. Like, uh, cause realistically, someone could suicide grind it. It's so mm-hmm. low to get onto. But that was like one of my first kink rails I ever suicide? seen. In LA. Oh, suicide oh, straight, straight over. Right on yeah, yeah. Much. yeah. And it's literally like I was like, oh, like God. this thing is so low to get onto. It's so good. But then the kink was pretty gnarly. But like, yeah, I ate shit and I was like, well, I already did the worst thing. I like was about to be off it. And I was like, I already did the worst thing I could do. So I, it, I might man. as well try it again. And then I ended <laughs> up doing it like second try. I went through it and then I just started like getting close. I mean, no offense. It took like 30 like, minutes. It's like when you fall like that, I'm like on that rail, I'm like, what do you expect, dude? Mm-hmm. Like, it's, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're going to get surfed like yeah, that. Yeah. I love the fact that yeah. you actually want, like you had to figure it out. Yeah. 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 At, on the spot, at the spot. Yeah. First time you're with these guys, Ricky, Blayback. It, yeah. Dude. I, will, I will never, it's funny that? though. Yeah. There's a security kicking us out the whole time. Oh, Cause shit. they were like having basketball games the whole time. And he was just like, he saw me fall. He saw me do that fall and he laughed. He's like, ha, see? And I was oh, like, damn. all right, watch. I think that was another big reason that oh, I was yeah. like, watch. Like, oh. motherfucker. Like, this ain't, like, I'll, 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 I eat those. Like, it ain't worth <laughs> I eat those. Come on, I'll eat those. Yeah. You got to, man. If, They're not vegetables. Yeah, yeah, I won't eat, I won't eat those. <laughs> I'll eat those. And what about this one? This is uh, some pretty gnarly, I mean. Yeah, those were mellow. They, they okay, great. Frustration of uh, being there for so long, too. Two and a half days. Oh, oh yeah. it took two and a half days. How windy yeah. was it there? That day, the first day was mellow. That day was so windy. I got there, I was like, so we drove up. It was two weeks apart from each other. Like one week we went up there to film. Yeah. And then I was like, all right. Like I'm, I was filming the Spitfire part. And I was like, all right. Like I just need a, a last trick. And then I seen this rail like in the spot book. And I was like, damn, this thing looks good. It looks and, good. It, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Midler kick with back 50 to it. That's a good rail. Yeah, yeah sure. no, I, I'm just saying the way you look at things. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's just long, yeah. it's long, mellow, yeah. and has grass on the side. Yeah. That's yeah. good. And a wooden yeah. bench right there. At the yeah, end that's the only thing. But, you know, yeah, by the time you make it to that bench. That's true. You, you, should, should, you're comfortable. you should know where you're at. I never yeah. understood 5 0 rails, but go ahead. You should know where I you're at by long, the time The profile angle of it is like long as fuck. It's long as, sh- is, yeah. it's long as shit, but it's so good. Like it's angled, it's corner pocket with the stairs, so it's shorter to get onto than it looks. Oh, okay. it's like it's like a little bit below hip because it's corner pocket. You know, the stairs go like side. Yeah, 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 interesting. Yeah, damn, it seems kind of low, huh? It is kind of low. Yeah. It's I mean, not you bad at the very top. You yeah, you so, go yeah. slow to get in, and, and there's and, grass on the other side. Yeah, there's grass on the other side. You run out like 50 50 It's pretty fun. Like once you're in it, it's just like all right, flat bar. Now you're pinched right there. Yeah, so, wait, <laughs> hell of that one I was holding on with dear life. <laughs> Look how close you came to the wood, though. I didn't even think about that. Well, listen, that's what we're here for. Oh, you did come out. Is that butter bench? Hit his shin no, that's there. a wooden. That's a wooden ass bench. Yeah, it's a real wooden listen, bench. We'll, we'll get to the windy day. We'll get to all the tries and everything. But what what's the secret to back to five owing around rail? What is there? Uh, it's kind of more of just like a like a feeble grind, and you like lift up like i mean that's more of a back 5-0 sense the way i do them is like like a front 5-0 on a transition like any type of circle coping mm-hmm. it's just like you know you just your heel, like heel is, is dragging mm-hmm. like like that's why i like 5-0s on like a long rail like that because you can control it pretty much like that's why i was like you hear me you see me like yeah yeah towards the end there. so it's like because my heel is dragging right so technically like my heel is dragging so it's like yeah. not even bouncing mm-hmm Interesting. It's controlling yeah. your speed. Yeah. One, you're controlling your speed. It's not like I'm balancing a 5-0. Yeah, that's... Like, that's yeah. that's way harder. Yes. Like, it's like, you get in, and then you just throw your heel, make contact with your heel on the rail, and you're kind of just, like, locked in, you're ready kind of to go. It. Your speed would have it, been definitely, like, a little bit faster. leveled up. Yeah. Sure. It makes yeah, yeah. sense when you're explaining it, but to, to actually do that... Yeah. I no, mean, it sounds I, I, scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Scary what's, what's the technique more than of doing that? I didn't learn a front 5-0 for a long, like, long time after, like, grinding rails for a while. I was like, 5-0s five five on a circle rail make no sense. Right. I still don't back 5 when you When you grind a rail like that, are you thinking, like, I need to get my heel on there to kind of slow me down? Yeah, yeah. I just, like, I'm like, what for that for front 5... It's just the same as any Ollie. That's the right. thing. All my tricks are pretty much an Ollie. Okay. Like if they're simple, like the simple, like normal tricks to get into, not like a, Who like is? a front crook is different than a normal, like, uh, like 50, 50s, five O's, lip slides, Smith grinds, front feebles. My feet are like all in the same position. Yeah. But when you all into that five O, are you thinking like, I need to like have my Once heel I, just kind of fall off a little bit? Yeah. I'll just be like manual. Like, Who's or just saying like five, that? Oh, like, you know what? Five O ledge Knox. quick pop out. Like mm. Tom you know? Knox was saying that you skate like a snowboarder. 
Is that what he, he was yeah. saying? Like, yeah, like, like, you, like your foot positioning was like your feet were always in the same place. Yeah, it's Ugh. it's majority the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I the only reason I switch my feet up is like if I'm flicking into something or, yeah, pretty much that's it. Mm. Every every other time, like I have like majority of my foot on the board on the tail. Yeah, same, is that weird? Same you spot? do the same foot placement for a front crook as you do for a five zero. No, nah, the front crook yeah. is the only thing that I up. change what up. Do, what do you of. change on there? I, I I put my foot more like a heel flip. Like across my front, foot, my front your, truck. Your toes are sticking off my, my toes your board. are hanging off my board. That is weird. Yeah, my toes. That's weird. It makes like sense for a front crook, like, though. Well, my, you to my big toe. Down a little bit. Yeah. yeah, my big toe. Because I would always miss my my board when I put it normal. I would always miss my board trying to put it onto the ledge. I would like my board would be here, my foot would be here. Oh. So then I was like, all right, if I ollie with my foot further over, when I ollie, the board is fully stuck to my foot. So the like. I'm cutting out the probability of missing by yeah. like half half yeah. the amount. You and know? your foot kind of slides in the place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My foot slides in the place every time. You like just that, slide it up a little bit. I would more, right? I would yeah, I would just before I would like get into front crooks, but then once I like, all right, I'm gonna slide my front foot over and put them right below the front bolts, I'm just gonna like and once I did that, I started locking in like way more. That's like, how I, so I figured weird. out like um, now I like, side slappies. Yeah. Um like slappy feet. I cut my missing like in half by putting my foot over more. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I, I just find that so strange to put your t- hang my toes over slightly. to actually not so much slightly. I know but still yeah, like, for like me toe, I need like, to have bam. my f- toe I, I can't hang the toes off. Mm. Yeah remember Jamie Th- right. Jamie Thomas was right. saying that. Jamie Thomas he's like oh yeah put your foot on the bolts and have your foot hanging off and it just kind of always right into it it. that shit is like yeah I tried so many different ways just like when I was learning front crooks was just like when I first I learned how to hold it just put the board there and stand on it and felt how that was and then stand next to the ledge and just put a million different foot placements to see what what on average like I would get into a front crook better faster You're, you're really a thinker in a in a um, problem solver a problem solver perfectionist yeah, like, definitely almost. like solving problems I've I've been, my dad's an engineer so I feel like that my, my dad's an engineer as yeah, well so that, that goes a lot too like you see a problem you can fix it you just gotta figure it out what kind of engineer uh, He, my dad will fix anything but he's an electronic engineer that, my yeah, my but dad he, electronic whoa, engineer whoa. as well. They can fix anything. They know one of them. Listen, I, did Hughes Aircraft Company? What does he work for? He did. He was in the Air Force. And that's where he learned. Okay, he was in the Air Force, oh, wow. but then he started doing wastewater like treatment Amazing. plants. Was like his main thing. Amazing. Amazing. He would just do like anything that like a company would build or you get already built and you would just install. Yeah, my dad would do it like half the price. Built it with his bare hands. Like just go to Home Depot, get the wires, the box, drill the holes. Let me tell you something. Make it all. I I hand. love that man. My dad's electrical. I mean, I I would take apart VCRs when I was yeah. little and try to figure it, whatever. But I I, I it so it's funny now. because this conversation and the way that you look at skateboarding, the way that you figure out, I've been watching these uh, free free solo climbers. Uh-huh. You know, yeah, those the, guys are gnarly. the one guy. He did it. He climbed up the 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 face of El Capitan with ropes and mm-hmm. stuff like that. There's this other free solo climber. Uh, Alan, or I, I forget his name, Alan Hannon or something. No, that's a filmer. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. Alan Hannon, no, he's a rock climber as well. Great wa- filmer and rock climber. <laughs> <laughs> he works for Primitive and Climbs Rocks. No. S- same name. name, the, name is, the name is similar. Oh, okay. I don't. I can't remember. Yeah. But he climbed El Capitan. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're talking about a 3,000 foot granite wall in Yosemite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With no ropes, nothing. But yep. he trained forever with ropes to find every little nook yeah, and cranny so every, and every was, body. Nothing was a surprise. Every right. body angle, every move, every foot. He really <laughs> figured he, it out. He really what figured it? it out before he Arnold. did it. Mm. What? Alex Arnold. Alex Arnold? Arnold. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Arnold. Oh, but... It, I, to yeah. me, when you're talking, I'm, I'm picturing this guy in my head because he's actually yeah. doing the yeah. stuff b- before he's. That's, that's doing what it. I like to do. Yeah, I mean, like like the clip that you were gonna ask me about yeah. soon. Yeah, the front which feeble. is right here. Oh. Same with that one. Oh my lord! I front fifty'd it like five times before I even tried a front feeble. That I rail just, is high. It's yes. tall. And long. It's big. And lo- yeah, it's deep. Oh my but I was just like, I front feeble. I think I front fifty'd it like three. Three to five times. Definitely did at least three times. At least. Yeah. How many stairs is that? 21. What, what was scarier, this or El Toro? The front feeble? Yeah. Uh, This was scarier, just because it's taller. Oh, no. Oh, front feeble El Toro? Oh, front feeble El Toro oh. as yeah, well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Front feebling right. El Toro was not as scary as front feebling that. Yeah. But also, <sighs> the main... It, see, that's the thing, too. See, they were about the same, 
but frontside 50 50ing El Toro was not as scary as front 50 ing that. Mm. So that is what makes it scary, you know. Because it's taller? Once or? I, not, yeah, just because it's taller and you have to go like fast mm-hmm. and stuff. But it's like, it's kind of good because it's like, all right, it's fast. So now I can let the adrenaline take over. Like how I was saying at, mm. at El, uh, El Toro when I front cooked it. Sometimes you get get gassed up and you feel the adrenaline and you need to slow yourself down. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, damn, this rail's so big, you can't go too fast. So that's why I was like, perfect. Just I get can, on. I can yeah. just let go my adrenaline it. go and yeah. I'll be fine. Like as long as I ollie good, it'll be it'll be better off. I mean, look like you're going pretty fast. I, I was definitely was. hauling ass, yeah. but that's just because it's tall. I like to go fast. It makes it it's easier to go fast well, when you're, you're getting all high, on. You get down further right. and everything. Do you ever try to ollie the stairs? Mm, randomly. <laughs> Did you try? You didn't try to ollie those stairs. No, no, no. Oh, uh, anything geez. over like, like sixteen, I'll probably yeah. I won't ollie this. I won't really hit the stairs. And it also depends on if I'm been grinding rails a lot because sometimes uh, I go on like random spurts of a couple months where I have I won't hop on a rail of that magnitude. Gotcha. You know, so like anything like seventeen or above, it's like kind of like a scary point. That's like all right. That's when it gets like a little nerve, like nerve wracking, like. A 14 rail or something is just kind of like, I kind of think of like anything like 15 or smaller is like, it's all a 10. Yeah. But then, <laughs> yeah. and then pretty much yeah, anything yeah. higher than that is a 20. Yeah. It's like a 10 and 20. It's like, that's the club I think of. So what's, it's like, what's yeah. your go to warm up for something like this? Just front 50 a bunch. Really? Yeah. Front side 50 50. That's and back side, I would have to board side it. I couldn't it's, even imagine front 50 fifteeing this yeah. fucking thing. I know, right? It's a monster. Jamie, you know what I I'm saying? Know. Like, you listen, look look who you're talking to right <laughs> now. Like, I, I couldn't even imagine. It's just a flat bar. That goes Bullshit, down. Bullshit, that ain't no flat bar. Like, even look at that thing. Bar. That's a 21 stair tall ass rail. Double stairs I just on think each I, side. I, Double I stairs. Out what are you figure... doing? What are you looking at? You cut out the stairs, it looks like a flat bar. Well, okay, you're right, but still. I just trip out. He, steep. he figured out the, the how to 50-50 the rail. That's what we're all scared of is the actual technique. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, now, are, 50. You, are you cross grinding? Front side, no. You double heel. heel. Front side, I'm always double heel. Back side, I'm always cross. So that's why I'm like, and that's we're why all scared I'm, to even I'm get scared. On. I'm more yeah. scared to do a backside fifty fifty than a frontside fifty fifty because of the cross lock. Interesting mm. yeah. situation. Right. You're scared. Right. You're more scared of the cross lock. Yes. What well, more? Uh, I, more probability of messing up. I feel like for some reason skaters do the cross lock because it's safer. It's safer to yeah. to to grind on maybe. Yeah. Or it's it's safer, but it's also not safer because. A lot of times, if you cross lock on a kink rail or something, that's people slip into a feeble grind, yeah. or or you get into a wheelie grind and you miss your back mm-hmm. truck. The reason I like a front fifty double heel is because the way I front side fifty fifty, I ollie, hit the middle of my trucks on the rail, and slide my heat my pressure to my heels, or I'll get ollie to get straight into my heels. But I yeah. know that I can get in the middle of my truck and go to my heel. Okay, God, that is so uh, scary. So like yeah. my moment, my momentum yeah. is going over the rail the whole time. I just like hit the rail on the way through, like going over the rail. When Dude, you, when you see a real size, whatever, are you looking at the rail or are you looking where you want to land? No, I'm just looking at the point of getting in. Getting right? in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're looking at this. I'm at the, the, you're, you're looking at this point right. Yeah, I'm looking at here. right above that second support yeah. or third support. Wow. Yeah, or in that zone. God damn. I'm pretty much looking straight off the stair set. At just work, looking at your feet yeah. yeah. Kelly, yeah. could you imagine going to a 50 50 and be like, okay, I'm just going to get in the middle of it and then bash my truck yeah, into lean it? On your yeah, heels. I'm going to lean on my yeah. heel. Mm-mm. It's going to be all good, man. <laughs> we all know that's the thing. You're not go, even, oh my God. Everything, that's the thing a lot of people mess up. You don't lean on your heels. You like are on the rail and you push you, your you heels. Have down. To, you to me, your heels. That, that's going yeah. that. Uh, yeah, but see, there's a difference between without your body. There's a difference between leaning on your heel and pushing your heel down you know yeah. well yeah. listen man after you taught me about the pinch and the pinch manual i will never question yeah. you again <laughs> oh, i appreciate <laughs> it thank you thank uh, you he's I got a good clear, pinch on the curb i want to yeah. clear that up right now i appreciate you, know, it. you oh. said you did say that you could pinch a manual i definitely disagreed with you but my my uh tune has changed there we go there we go yeah. the, you can pinch all dogs do learn new tricks i, 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 I agree with jamie on that i was like yeah. hell yeah i <laughs> didn't <laughs> Well, it was Not actually all. kind of the first time that like the, the whole pinch. Yeah, it was thing a, it was a new it was, it was a new, new it was a new thing. You got you got you got to open up to change. Right, and I got tagged. Numer- that was, got, you got bullied into I believing. Got bullied oh. into it. That yeah, was the yeah. first conversation. No, but I do believe it now. I yeah. do. That, viral conversation. that was the first conversation we did where we all were like bantering back. We couldn't. Chris got pissed. He was like, dude. So good. Everyone's so talking. Good. Yeah, yeah. Well, he made fun of me at first for riding a 775 board. <laughs> yeah. 
Shit is too small. Do you still skate at 775? No, he's no, up there. I'm at 825. There we now. go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the twin paddle is going to be 825 and 8.5. See, pre- peer pressure Coming works. Soon, yeah, man. there you go. See, peer pressure works. But listen, Jay, I was wrong. Okay. You can <laughs> pinch a manual in those manuals. There we go. There okay. we go. These All these different new types, you know? You learn, it, new, you learn new things you learn every day. You learn new every day. So yeah. I will never... I mean, the way that you skate rails is fucking phenomenal dude. i appreciate it you I just, have it down to a science yeah and no. you're really calculated which is i i, I love learning about that stuff because sometimes yeah. you think that right dubs yeah. oh the guy just jumps on the rail and just sends yeah. it and whatever but he's you're moving those, you're you're finding those holes for your hands yeah, you know what true. i'm saying another mm-hmm. thing that's like difference between this and el toro is like yeah, the height and everything, but then also El Toro is not down the middle. Well, not anymore. Like oh, the sides. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. It stairs that's on it. both sides here. Stairs on both sides is very scary. Yeah. It's like a whole different thing. Like if it was like like El Toro is like like I'd rather skate the side rail on yeah. that. Yeah. You feel a little safer with the bush there? Yeah, even though you don't really want to touch it. Right. Like it's just like an option. Cement is cement. Yeah, and cement, yeah. cement, grass and dirt is a lot more forgiving. Yeah. So yeah. like it's like a lot easier to do. Or you could play around with it and like like that's another thing too. say like if I wanted to go slow and like ollie over and like run down the bank or yeah. something, you know, you could just like see yourself going over the rail. That's like, I'm either going to try to ollie the stair set or I'm going to try to grind the you rail. Grind, it's like, either or. There's yeah. no like, yeah, there's, there's no, no safe option. No in between. So yeah, it's like more of like, it's definitely scarier to do that. Like that was way scarier in the sense of just grinding it. Yeah. Now, is do you do you know about I've, this rail? Had you been there before? Yeah, Did I've somebody, been there before. I've okay. seen, obviously, seen. You like, didn't skate it the first time. No, no, no. I, it was knob and everything. Mm. I had to actually knob buster. Okay. Went shout and, out and knob yeah, buster. Shout yeah. out yeah. knob buster. Went and handled that one for okay. me. I asked him. I was like, "Yo, man, I've always wanted to skate this thing." Like I mean, houses everywhere, right there. Yeah, yeah. No, he went there in the middle of the day and like <laughs> Jesus, like, middle that. of the day. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> like my wife. My wife's been in the lookout. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got you. I, I got you, man. Family of oh, <laughs> oh God! Yeah, no, he he hooked it up. It was sick. So, did you plan on doing that that day? Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, I've planned on doing it. It was for the Death Wish video. I was like, gotcha, all right, because yeah. I always think I was like, you know, I always think of like, I want a front feeble something because I always trying to have the biggest or longest like front feeble compared to my last one. You know, mm-hmm. my previous one. Got you. So you I like was to like, outdo yourself. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Always want to outdo yourself on the next part. So I was like, oh, I haven't front feebled like anything really big in a while. So like, what's a bigger rail than El Toro? And I was like, well, this is literally El Toro on steroids. <laughs> yeah, that like, that. you know, it's just like one stair bigger and a lot more tall and long. Mm-hmm. So it's just a whole different set and everything. So I was just like, oh, I could front feeble this thing. Went there, looked at it. I was like, it's so good, but it's all knob. Like not just the rail, like the ground had the plates. Oh, so that was, I was like, oh, I love unknobbing stuff. Right. Like I do that stuff all the time, but I usually just do the rail and stuff. Like yeah. the ground stuff is hard. It's, it, it's a different thing. They you had that on the top? Yeah. The ground mm, plates, right. like, like metal circular oh, really? plates. Yeah. Yeah. There's At the a, top? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's like, you see oh, them on the left okay, and the right. Oh, Yeah. Jeez. On the left and right, you can see them. Yeah. So I then there, think about he, that. he cut like three oh, off yeah. and I was like, well, I took a photo and sent it to him. I was like, Hey man, I really want to skate this. You think you could hook me up like and get it done? He was like. Yeah, for sure. No worries. And then, like, I was about to go to Florida for a while. And I, this was, like, during COVID. I was like, oh, like, I need to, like, do this before I go to Florida. Like, I was banging on doing this before I go to Florida. Like, I know it's getting, like, I was bothering him kind of. Like, hey, can you can you go do this, please? It's been, like, a two months. the door for me? Yeah, it's been, like, a month and a half, bro. I really want to do this. And he's like, oh, yeah, my bad. You know, it's just, like, obviously a lot of stuff on his plate. Sure. Now, do you, a lot uh, of knobs to bust. Yeah, doing do his thing. Do you break knob busters off? Like, here's some money for that? No, nah, I didn't. He thankfully he he just I was he asked He's me doing it for love? as long as he was like, Oh, let me get the clip. Like that was the thing. I okay. landed it and I landed it and once I sent it once I landed it, I sent it straight to him. I was like, Hey, thanks. Here's like what I did. Amazing. You know, get the get wow. the little nugget. But yeah. Uh, I feel like there's gonna be like a knob buster video coming soon. <laughs> it'd be Ooh, all the stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing some. He's doing some good work. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely, oh, definitely does. He does a lot. Of, definitely goes into nods a lot of spots. Yeah. and yeah, thankfully, and he shout out like, to Nodbuster. I got that one done amazing. literally because of him. Yeah, Sick. he's nice. putting his life at risk. In the, I mean, not life at I, risk, but like he's putting himself yeah. fines, at risk. Yeah, fines, yeah. fines yeah. or going to jail, jail or whatever. Or night in jail or something. But I mean, listen. he goes and looks professional. That's the reason. That's yeah. the thing. It yeah. doesn't. He doesn't look. Yeah, you would like think it looks out of place. 
No, but he, it doesn't. He looks like he belongs. He looks yeah. like he belongs. If yeah. we're, like we're out there up skating there. it, like, yeah. No, but he's got like a hard hat on. Yeah, he's got the hard hat. He's got, the, he's got the whole he's got, kit. He's probably got the truck for That's it. That's amazing. Yeah, if he pulls up, if you this. pull up with a truck, he's got cones, overalls, right and a hard hat, yeah. you can destroy anything you want. That's true. Just right thinking about the time that, Roger you know? rocked up to the curbs on a freaking electric skateboard with a sledgehammer. Oh my this god. Really, yeah. This yeah. Is, yeah. yeah. It's a little sketch. Yeah. You're standing yeah. out a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. A little he bit. definitely blends I got in. The like, job done. You're going to look at him and be like, hey. damn, look at what he's doing. But he looks like he's supposed he to be like doing that. Yeah. So... Right. I, yeah, he did in the middle of the day. He sent me the photo of him so, doing it. Like he's like, so yeah, sick. here you go. Look at like, this mess so, over here. <laughs> sorry, I it took so long. I was like, dude, it's all wow. good. Like you're you're crazy, man. You did it. Like dude, appreciate it. He needs to set up like a donation page. Yeah, I, I went know. there. I looked at it. I was like, damn, this is perfect. Like he did it smooth. perfectly. Like yeah, it was smooth. it was so good. Yeah, it was <laughs> did, sick. Did you say how many tries that took once you that, actually tried it? I think it was two tries. God damn. What happened the first try? Uh, Got to the bottom. I think I I either, I think I stuck it and slipped out. I think I stuck it in at the bottom. Yeah, yeah like yeah. like landed it and slipped out, because it was kind of loud. Like in the in the first try, like even when I was grinding it, it's a really like dry rail. Like mm -hmm. no one skated in a long time. Sure. So even before I checked it, I learned from my first. My I learned my mistake from my Albuquerque fall that we all know so well. Yeah, check oh. the rail. You know. Yeah. Check the rail. It was sticky. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna wax it up, and I would wax it. And when I front side fifty fifty did it, it was like. Like super loud sounding, like whoosh, like oh, wow. sounded really loud, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna wax it more because I rather I rather slip out than stick yeah. on anything." Yeah. So I was just like, "I'm gonna wax it more," and then I was grinding it a few times, and it was grinding fine. I was like, "All right, I'm gonna front feeble it," but then when you front feeble, there's more friction from your like truck. More of your truck is hitting the rail in a weird way. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when I the first try was like super loud, and I had to fight it, got to the bottom, and jumped or slipped out. And then I waxed my like truck a little bit, okay. and then I landed the next try. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, felt so good. Oh I, congratulations! Thank you. Yeah, 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 this. Yeah, that one felt. It's sick because like you like usually you sometimes you like start off going slow and then you land going fast. Mm. But this like felt cool because I was like just flying the whole time. Yeah, like, you can tell how you got on. Like <laughs> cooking, just, getting yeah. on, and cooking and landing. So it just but, felt. But where did the camera go? I know. Yeah. I think we talked about yeah, that. They, yeah. they, they, they played it out. Oh yeah. yeah, they played it out. We got, we got <laughs> good people. We got good people working on our side. You know what I'm saying? I know that's that angle is so sick. That's a good one, man. Yeah, Kalen was like that was the weird part too. I was rolling. I was usually I'm used to Kalen being right there, like next right. to me, or seeing Kalen like being like, all right, here we go. I was like, I'm just rolling up to this rail, and it literally looks like no one's here right now. Like the homies are in the tree, like underneath the tree, I can't see them. Yeah, homies on top of a pole filming, I can't see them. Uh, yeah, it looks yeah. like you're homies across solo. the street. The other, like I'm literally at the top of the set, and I just hear my homies. I don't like wow. see anyone. It was crazy. So wait, they took the camera out for the photo? They no, played no, it. No, they, they just played. They like they scribbled it out. Yeah, watch. So it's in and there the front now. Angle. And then the front angle is a still angle, yeah. so you can plate it out. Uh, so, so when he walked up the stairs, there was nothing there. They just took a little piece a little of the stairs. So they couldn't yeah. do nothing on the other one. Yeah, yeah, because it's, no, it's, 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 it's a moving. straight foot, like a like yeah, stair. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. It's, it's moving. Got it. Yeah, only I'm moving in that, and I don't cross the camera right. at all. Yep. So hey, yeah, it's making us talk about it. Hmm? It's making us talk yeah. about it. Yeah, they did it a yeah. few times in that video. Yeah. Or I remember John Dixon switch flip down like that double set or triple set. Whatever Their filmer, it was. they took yeah, the whole guy out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tim out, I think. Yeah, 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 dude, you're a beast, bro. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, straight up, dude, everything that you do is is I appreciate it. Thank you. Bro. Oh, yeah, Thank from you. the time you were am here in this I little know. chair till now, all the yeah. things you've accomplished, a lot dude. Of stuff you, bro. Hey, by the way, Dickies. Oh yeah, I, I, Chris wears your shoe all the time. Oh yeah, really? Bro. He does wear it all the time, not yeah. just tonight. Yeah, yeah. He Look seriously wears that. it all the those time. Those are his there you go. I like those. Those are good ones. Those are dope, yeah. right? Yeah, I, like no, I, like I appreciate. It. Thank hey, you. Shout out to fucking New Balance. There for you sending go. Yeah, me. shout yeah. out New Balance. Yeah. Good shoe. I Get like three oh six. I like them, dude. Got the slip ons now too. You got the slip ons. Oh yeah. no way. Yeah, there's slip ons out. Yeah, slip ons came out a couple months ago. Okay, I didn't see that. They didn't send me those. Yeah. A lot's, happened. The, the a lot's laceless. happened in four years. Okay? It has. It has. Skater of the year. You got a shoe. You got uh, a line coming out from Dickies. Dickies. Yeah, the new I, clothing line pro from Dickies. Too. You, line Dickies we, I, you have some stuff down there. You brought some Dickies. Turn pro. Yes. Wait a minute. So you got your own line. Got gear. With Dickies. Let's see some of that. Yeah, pass a conveyor belt down, man. Got this Roger is um, in the shirt right now. Roger, Roger dug that. into the box before yeah. we got a chance to look at got all the box this early, stuff, man. How many pieces are in your line? Do we know? Three pants, collection. three shirts, like seven or eight. That is a that's a, that's line. a good collection, yeah. Eight things because we got a long sleeve, oh, a button up, 
two pocket tees, the black and white one, and then three pairs of pants, two hoodies. This, Amazing, is, this is what I miss about the Damn, nightclub, man. Dude. Getting gifts. These remember? are the pair of pants. <laughs> oh, yeah. What are we going to give him, though? I, I, I miss better. that. Right, we don't the have signature anything. Signature on there. Look at that. Yeah, I'm high. Bro. So what's up with the uh, the dominoes? Is that The dominoes is kind of just like it goes back to like my like my dad's Cuban and Puerto Rican. So okay. growing up, I'd play dominoes with my family oh, and stuff yeah. on my dad's side. It, Same. It was a fun thing. And it's just, it's a Florida like represent like when you're in Miami, like. You see people playing dominoes all the time everywhere. Like yeah, your whole line just screams Florida. Yeah, that's kind of yeah, what we yeah. wanted to well, do. That's co- all I mean, that mattered. Dude, was, these yeah. pants, when I the saw co- those, I'm like, all, I'm like, this is so soon, Jamie Foy yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, and I mean, right now, I feel like a lot of like brighter colors are in. So, you know, like yeah. I feel like, and one, Dickies doesn't have, like they do have a lot of colors, but in the skate line, I feel like they didn't have too many different ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was kind of always wearing like black, yeah. tan, or the gray or something, you know? Which I like all the time, but also it's like I, if I'm wearing like a lot of black or white T-shirts, I want to just kind of like if I don't have, don't have if I don't want to have color up here, it'd be cool to have color down here. Yeah, yeah. I think I could. I think I could rock these. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, you can. A hundred percent. No, I, I think I could rock these. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. I got the I got the reds on right now. When you got the yeah. black T-shirts, I'm not on like right a now, color stuff. guy. I'm more of like a you know black and blue. Keep it yeah. simple. Yeah, yeah. Wine, yeah. Burgundy, gray. Yeah, grays. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, I am too. I usually I like them all, but I also like you know if you want to feel some color, like yeah, you got some nice. Colors. These were me. originally more like that color, mm. and like they were they were good. Like in my part, I was wearing the first pair that they had. It was more I that color. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, really yeah. bright, but I done them down a little bit just for so that way everyone, you know. I like those. I like I them. Like the, I like them a little darker yeah, too. A little more friendly. Yeah, a little yeah. more friendly, and just like I feel like you know more people would be more inclined to wear them. But yeah, I just want to keep it pretty like normal. Like yeah. just let me let me ask clean you a question. Stuff. Yeah. Is that your signature? That is my signature. That's your yes. signature. Mm-hmm. I did that. How many tries did that take? I just scribbling on my iPad. For a, while. <laughs> okay. a few hours? Cause that's no, 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 for a while, oh, for yeah. a little bit. Because that's a good signature. I've had a few dude. things. Yeah, I've had a few people. Well, also on the iPad, you know, it's like it cleans it up a little oh, bit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got the, you got the, you know, you got the little editor on it's, there. It, it cleans up the lines. When, yeah, for you. if you want to do like the straight lines and and the way the pins are and everything. Yeah. Look yeah. at that. I'm going to have you sign my iPad, man. Yeah, it's crazy. It came with the stick. Look, <laughs> Look everyone want my signature? You just buy my clothes. You sign, you sign you my go. iPad? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. The signature yeah. right on. That was perfect, that, yeah. Hey, congrats, yeah, I'm hyped on this one. This, yeah. Congrats. Uh, thank you yeah. so I much. I loved it. And this is the... This is like, yeah, seriously, Florida but leisure. No. Dude, that like, shirt is hard, right? dude. Yeah. Right? You look good in that, yeah, right? I feel like I need like a cigar, lie. like stick yeah. my hair back. It's a good. Cuban, yeah. It feels Cuban. good, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm super well. stoked on everything that com- and all this stuff that came out, especially because like, it's the first line, so them like just trusting me with it and stuff. Is I mean, this listen, their first signature line of anything? Yeah, ever, yeah. How crazy. Dude. crazy, yeah. Dude. Listen, you fucking deserve it. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. Thank you. Shoes. Clothing line, bro. What else? We, drinks, everything. You deserve everything. Oh, I appreciate it. the boards, bro. Hell yeah. yeah. You have a, appreciate it. a colorway on New Balance that's similar to this, right? These colors? Yeah, I think so. I, I mean, I. that's the thing. This, this, like these, this, like that color, that mm-hmm. teal and my, and like pink has been always like my, my thing. So yeah. that's oh, kind of yeah, what I always, yeah. the pink and the teal and yeah. stuff like that. Did we talk that. about that? You entered Tampa and with, with the, bright, the pink? bright pink t-shirt. Bright everyone pink t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. That, was, that was, was all my mom's idea. She was like, Jeez. oh, every, everyone's stand up. Yeah, Wear that. Everyone's it's wearing true. gray, white, black t-shirts. And you know, if someone's just flying past <laughs> the judges, a pink shirt. They're just gonna be like, yo, yeah. whoa. So well, like, dude, it's true. How you did you first... do that year? Sorry, I didn't do that good. Okay, but still, but you they stood know out. Oh, they were talking to me. They, they were knew... talking about me. We still remember yeah, it, yeah. which yeah. all that mattered. Yeah. That's all that mattered. I just remember you seeing you for the first time at Damn Ham. You were like this little big kid. Yeah, and you were just hucking, and I was like, this definitely kid always is use the my best. always use my stature to my advantage. You know, <laughs> tuck and roll. You know. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You have that's one thing that you do know how to do is fall. Like, yeah, that's a big thing. Yeah, I think I got lucky with that. Is like me not even knowing it growing up. My sisters did a lot of gymnastics, mm-hmm. and then I would like my mom like to keep me busy while they're doing that. I would be in tumbling classes. Yeah. yeah I so I was like, oh, I just like run, jump, and you tuck and roll. So like it kind of gave me like the basis of like mm-hmm. falling oh, properly. Yeah, right. Right, wow. not a basis down twenty one stairs, but <laughs> nah, close just, to it. Yeah, like yeah. If, if you, you can get, apply it. If you got your yeah. aerial awareness yeah. down, any fall you can yeah. land on your aerial feet and tuck aerial, and roll. Aerial awareness. Aerial awareness. Yes. Yeah, that's, that that's was the good. first I've heard of that. that. That's that's what you're you gonna need, hear that a lot more. Uh, aerial wow. awareness. Come aerial on now. Aerial awareness. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, if I you're, have none of that. <laughs> when I he comes here, he brings start. the new lingo, dude. It's Every crazy, time, bro. last time, I mean, this shit's structured. Yeah, we have crazy these... lingo. Yeah, <laughs> crazy lingo. Aerial <laughs> awareness ain't I... even one of them. That's just <laughs> something. I... That's, just, that's, that's a new one. That's, that's just something. I, that I mean, that's, <laughs> that's just I always out. talk about that. Yeah. Aerial awareness. Did he announce it at like the Olympics? And be like, oh, he has really great aerial like awareness. Yeah, yeah. It's just like you know, if you're in the air and you like don't know what you're doing or where you're at, that's like asking to fall really bad, dude. I'm going to use that aerial aware. Yeah. You have good aerial awareness? Uh, awareness. Uh, next interview, I yeah. do. Next gnarly dude we have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get Tony How's back your aerial awareness? That's what you need. Yeah. 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 Doubt, That's yeah. all that matters. Because once you like, if you're in the air and you're like somewhat stable, then you can figure your way out. Like yeah. sometimes obviously you get caught up, yeah, can't do anything do. about yeah. it. Yeah. You gotta take it. Yeah. Like, yeah, like yeah. Albuquerque, you know, straight, straight. That's the one, is that the one where you kind of fell on your neck? Yeah, kind of, a lot of fell on my neck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the whole one. body fell on my neck. Oh. I'm surprised one. we, I, I, I didn't know. know, I don't think we have that one. Yeah, yeah. But we'll review we don't need it to next watch. time. Bro, you come back again and again. We didn't even get through half of yeah, the shit. We didn't shit. even scratch the surface on those clips. Which is amazing, though, because we, he, he knows stories. how to describe what's going on. That's yeah. what I love. I'd rather talk about three good clips and the, the, the backstory behind them than go run through 50 clips. Yeah, you know and getting I mean? like half the story yeah, or right. whatever. Yeah, I, I, mean, I do love storytelling, especially when it's like good moments like those. I dude. Mean, yeah. yeah, man. Stuff that I live for. I, I, I say it and over and over. stuff that happens in life, you know? Sure. I love it because we just see the makes. We see a couple slams. Yeah, yeah. You don't know that you got chased around a neighborhood and this and that and yeah, they yeah. mobbed it and you went back and this and yeah. There's so much to I just know. seeing a trick that 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 goes by in a video. Yeah, it, right? there really is, and that's what's crazy is like, thing like it's cool now because a lot of people like more now is like there's this stuff like think about back in the day with like the or like like with the OGs like all that those crazy oh stories yeah. like that you had to like link up with them and like bro hopefully they yeah, tell you yeah, those yeah. stories that type, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that type of shit they're inventing yeah, shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like yeah, they were the first to do shit yep. Yep. yeah like wow dude yeah that's why it's, it's cool that I could like just get on here it, and just talk about the stuff we do. I'll, yeah, I'll come back anytime you want. I appreciate dude. it. Yeah, yeah. And whenever you have your second line with uh, extent of eight, I want sixteen pieces. Yeah, when's this, bump out? It up a when's this bit. out? Is this out now? Yeah, it just came out. I think uh, uh, the, on my birthday, it dropped on June fourteenth. Oh, you know what? We have a nine club Dickies code. Mm -hmm. If you want to use on their website, okay. if you order a hundred dollars or more on Dickies website and enter nine club dot com or not just nine club and I need to tell C L U B. I think you get twenty percent off. You Damn. think? Is it twenty percent or ten? I think it's twenty. Dang, twenty wow. percent off is always a solid. It's always a so solid you can go to the website there. and get this. And get twenty percent off with the nightclub code. That's with hundred, yeah, buy hundred. Let, let me double. Let me double Let's check. Let's go. There's a let bunch me, of deals on there. Let me double check. We have a bunch of deals and shit. Yeah, and, and to anyone that might want to pick that up. Man, Wait, so you this have a boy cut is different than a normal cut. It's what makes it what makes different? Yeah. It's different. Yeah, it's not a normal like three seven whatever. What's what's different about it? <laughs> Eight seven <laughs> All four. All your sponsors are a bunch of numbers. In yeah, it. everything. <laughs> New Balance, numeric. Mm -hmm. 4A5, yeah, yeah. 4A5. <laughs> all these numbers yeah. so many numbers yep oh you get $20 off you get mm. $20 off your purchase of $100 or more okay that's just Dickies. a free shipping right there that's 20% yeah that's 20% 20, yeah. Yeah. as long as it's 100 bucks yeah. 100 yeah. bucks <laughs> 100 bucks or more 20% use code 9 club and you see oh, you yeah, this we is, already had that going so this is not a plug it. like you and know, for 100 bucks you can get like 6 pairs of dickies yeah it's yeah. a wider it's a wider cut could, than it, a normal because I know like I mean me Normal dickies are pretty skinny, just a straight fit and stuff like that. So I get the like mine are pretty sure are relaxed fit already. Yeah, they're, they're wide. Oh, sure. yeah, they're so they're wider and they got the little cell phone Stretchy. pocket. So it's like literally like the double knee fit, but mm -hmm. no double knee. So it's just like I'm gonna put this whole kit on. While nice and it's nice and clean looking, you know. I'm gonna I look like, like, I'm I'm look like Jamie Foy. I'm gonna ah, put the whole yeah, kit on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put the whole kit on. Next experience, we all gotta look like. I'm gonna look brute in this. Yeah. Shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brute, man. I'm gonna look structured. Over yeah, that, that was the hardest part of that newest part was making sure I had my clothes to like filming. Yeah. Oh yeah. Joe had, was like, saying certain, that. Joe said you only had like one of each. Like yeah, I had one of everything, and then. The but floor, you sweat it all out. Yeah, it's Ooh. so bad, so bad. So that was the one thing. But we got like you know, we got some stand-ins in the meanwhile. We made some other stuff. Nice. Make it, it look good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, you're doing, happen. You are doing your thing, dude. I, I don't. I don't it. picture yeah. you stopping no. anytime uh, soon. I don't think so. You are no. fucking going. He hungry. You're going to crazy. Yeah, that's just that's the thing too. It's like just skating with my homies. Like right now, like I haven't skated really in like a week and a half for like two weeks. Okay. Kind of. I'm just like. 
been hanging out this past couple yeah. of weeks, you know, like after the whole Olympic scenario is done right. and mm-hmm. kind of just like got to like take a step back and chill. So, mm-hmm. you know, but then Good that's the you, thing bro. too. Like, that's what I do is like, you know, anytime there's a little like pause, it's like, I just start like, I just sit there and think of stuff. Yeah. And you know and that's what? That's when you like get gassed up to go out and get it again. I was just sure. about to say, man, taking a nice break when yeah. you're not hurt yeah. is the best thing you mm-hmm. can do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even if it's a couple days or a week or two weeks, you yeah, know, yeah. because you get back with that fire. Yeah. It's a hard reset. It, it is. It's a hard reset. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I do I like it. it. It happens very, not that often. I don't really do it that often, right. but thankfully I had the time, like time off to just chill. And you, it definitely bro. helped out a lot. I'm sure your sponsors Reset, were cool you know, with that. Yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your sp- and it was everything's your dropping. Yeah, it's my birthday. Hey, had, happy had a part. birthday! Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, man. Twenty-one had the, years had old. Had the part coming bro. out too, so now I got that dropped out. So now I got to take a, now. Now the little set, the real reset has been nice. I love mm-hmm. it, bro. Back on another video part in what two weeks? <laughs> <laughs> Joe said you're working on Dickie's part. Yeah, or Dickie's video. Yeah, it's like one of my main things I'm working on right now is the Dickie's video. Yeah, got a lot okay. of stuff so far. I'm already. I already got a lot of stuff that I'm like super hyped on. Oh, that okay. I know, we heard. We heard. Yeah. Can't wait. 2022 <laughs> Nothing better or 2022 yeah. can't come soon enough. Wow, there you go. man. I he's just got, want, he's going for Sodi. Uh, I, I just want to drop a good part. I just all. I just want to drop a good part. It could happen, bro. He's one of the hardest do. working guys in this industry. Yeah, baby. but you know what I though? It's that. it's. So I, is it work? Some I mean, when you got to go back, there and is do times the like shit. like yeah. everything like yeah like that. That's the it's one of the one things I was telling my mom. Like I was saying, like when I was doing the flip front crook, yeah, was like venting. Is, I was like, yeah, I know usually this isn't work, but right now it's work. This is so shitty. Right. <laughs> like right. I feel like the boss just keeps telling me no. Like and I really want to do something, and the boss is like just keeps telling me no. I can't do it. You I can't stay do it. after work. You yeah, gotta, I just do like some extra credit, just yeah. stressing at home, like. What do I have to do to get myself to get this done correctly mm. and everything? So yeah, like there's always times, you know, like yeah. But that's also it's not even about it being work; it's more about like being passionate about something and yeah. conquering. And it, yeah, and anytime you're passionate about anything, like as much fun as it brings you, and joy in your life it brings you, like heartache. if you're passionate about it, it's gonna bring you heartache. It's gonna bring you frustration. No, no, no. It'll break like, you. Like that's the love, you know. Yeah. Like, you have to be. You have to love something to get mad at it. I yeah. feel like though the sure. way that you explain stuff and the way that you skate, I feel like you're with your boys most of the time. Yeah. And you're having fun and you're just going out skating. Yeah. And all these clips are just kind of coming. Yeah. Thankfully, to you they as are. you're skating. Yeah. And, and having fun. Yeah. It kind of all. Amazing. It all plans in with like. I plan tree like we were talking about like sometimes I will claim some certain things and plan sure. those out but then also like nothing beats a day of just like going and skating with the homies totally. and then sometimes you can you just come shit. home yeah you just yeah. come home with a random clip that Love you're that. super gassed on that like while you're trying the trick you're just like oh, I didn't even think I'd be skating today yeah. and yeah. then all of a sudden you like get a random clip of a new trick that you're like sick I've never filmed one of those before and like Dude. you know so mm-hmm. it's like that kind of all like what goes into it all that's why I mean I still live my homies I have two houses and I got homies that live with me and both of them. So it's like, no matter where I'm at, I just like have a group of homies around me that want to go skate. So it's like, no one's ever really there. Like, no, like, Oh, like I'm sometimes, I'll be the person that they're like, Oh, like I want to go skate. And I'll just be like, no, I'm just chilling today. (laughs) I'm going to just chill here. But it's also nice. Like when you have your own place, like you got a spot in Florida and a spot here. Yeah. I bought a house in Florida and out here. Super hyped. Like, yeah, you got a spot next to next to mom's. Yeah, right. Yeah, ten minutes away, like yeah, close yeah, to the yeah. beach from where I grew up. So I just want to make sure I was close to the beach and beautiful. Yeah, it's I'm super stoked on my house in Florida. Stoked on my house here. Obviously, the house in Florida is like my home, though. That's like was my first place that I bought, and that place is like really awesome. I love it. It's like that's a place it. where I always wanted to like was like, man, it'd be cool if my mom lived here. Like when I was growing up, you know, like mm. growing up, I had friends that lived over there. I was like, y'all, y'all are lucky to live over there. So oh. <laughs> now, 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 it's, now look yeah, at it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm it. super you high. envisioned that bro. It's yeah. like, you yeah. thought about it, you know, uh, I mean, obviously it. your skateboarding transpired into yeah. what it is today. Yeah, it's, here we are. It's Dude. funny. Cause I have <laughs> mad homies that live in that neighborhood that like, you know, like kind of still live with their parents or they like live like somewhere else. And they have their parents that live there. And like, well, it was funny because actually where I bought my house in Florida is like where a lot of my people, like a lot of the people I grew up around, like grew up in. So I would like, I when I moved in, I bought this little house and it had a little side yard where I was like, I'm going to build a ledge and quarter pipes. So I built a nice little ledge and quarter pipe area and the house behind me, they're all super cool. I didn't tell them I was doing it mm-hmm. because it's going to be, it's little. Yeah. And I was like, I'm only going to skate it during the day. 
And Florida, thankfully, we don't have a, a house in the, my neighborhood. I don't have a housing committee or whatever. HOA. Any, yeah, no yeah. HOA. So I was like, I'm just going to do this. And, you know, if anyone doesn't like it, like, oh, well. <laughs> like, we're going to have to see what ha- what happens. So the one day we finished building it, we're skating, but the fence on one side is lower than the fence on the other side. So you can kind of see in their backyard a little bit. Oh. And I wanted to change that just for me. I don't want to look in my neighbor's backyard for them too. Right. So I was like, ask them about like making the fence taller and stuff, even though like it's not loud. But I was mm. like, if you don't mind me raising the fence, then it'll be perfect for both of us. Sure. So I talked to them and they were cool about it. And then the one day my homie that was building the fence jumped over and was like doing the stuff for the fence. And this kid came out and he's like my age, a little older than me. I think mm. he was one year older than me. And the guy that my homie Jay that does all the concreting for the park and the fence, he was he, he's older mm-hmm. and he's just like, this kid came out and was screaming at him. He's like, who's the, like, who owns this house? Like, like who can I just talk to the owner? Cause like Jay was like saying, Oh, already talked to your mom. Cause I think it was his mom's house. Okay. And he, his mom wasn't home and he was just freaking out. Huh. And he just like came out and he's like, who owns this house? And then he was like, this guy pointed at me and I was like, Hey, what's up? I'm Jamie. Like, nice to meet you. He's like, you Jamie. Like, did you go to Pompano high? Like, like my high school I went to, no I was way. like, yeah, I, I, yeah, I did actually like, yeah, whatever. And he's just like, <laughs> you own this house? I was like, yeah, I own this house. Like, yeah, I just bought it like, like a couple months ago. <laughs> he's just like, he's just like, like, I just see it in his face. He's just like, what yo, the what the hell? Like, like, yeah. yeah. It was just like, cause in my, like also growing up, I was like the kid, I was like, everyone was like, oh yeah, you just skateboard. And so yeah. I was like, you know, like there's like also like downplay when I was yeah, younger yeah, yeah. and everything. Yeah, so I was I just like, that. you know, you're just, just like, shit oh, on him. This, yeah, this is my house. <laughs> yeah. They're like, they're like, who's they're Ferrari like, just, who's yeah. Ferrari who owns this place? I'm just like, Hi. Yeah. yeah. This is he's looking this past me like this dude back here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, no, me, my buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've had people come over to like fix something when my dad was home and they like talk to my dad like he owned the place. Right. Like, it's right. happened to me already I too. Love that, like bro. it's sick. I love like, that. I, 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 I <laughs> fuck with That's this. the yeah. best feeling, bro. Yeah, like you could talk to my dad all you want, like he owns this place. Yeah. It's all good to me. Like, oh. I don't mind at all. So what happened? Dude? Was he just like, oh, okay. And did yeah, he was just like, Oh yeah, okay. Uh I gotta call my mom. And like, yeah, he just like, you know, I was and then everything was nothing you could say. Yeah. Exactly. Like she already said it was cool. We raised the fence and now like, yeah, oh I skate my, my side yard God. all day. Like it's so beast. Like, I love it. Yeah. Not only do I have a place where I always wanted to like live growing up, I, I have a little ledge and I love that. like a pool, a screen in pool. It's Whoa. like, yeah, it's, it's such a nice Nothing's chill Nothing's more Florida than a screen in pool. Yeah. There screen in pool. And I got a ledge on the, in the side and I got a generator. So okay. generator. yeah, like, 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 our, like it's called a generac Ready. generator. That's like locked into the house. So that way if, as soon as a like a hurricane hits or anything, ACs oh. or any power goes off, my generator cucks on. Fun, yeah. yeah the hurricane whole, parties? Hurricane parties, yep. Yeah. My house is ready to go for any hurricane <laughs> parties. <laughs> I just heard about that. No, those are real things. Yeah. 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 You got like a basement and all that shit? No, no, no. Hurricane party. You don't need that. All my all my windows and everything are hurricane or impact proof. So like nice. you you can just I don't have to board nothing up. It's like or shutters nothing. or so you hear No, it's so all the windows are impact proof. So like you could take a oh, coconut yeah. and slam it in the, the window and it won't shatter. It's unbreakable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So before a hurricane, you're like, hey yo, everyone come through to the house. Yeah, so pretty much a, hur- got hurricane, a hurricane windows. A yeah. hurricane party. Yeah, watch the shit. Before even before the hurricane windows, they were a thing. Before you would board up the house with your shirt, your hurricane shutters. Yeah. yeah. So you pretty much just the front door, you don't shut close. You just double bow lock it or whatever. Mm. But yeah, your homies like you're like hurricane party or hurricanes coming in on this day, like party all the day. So wow. that way, like people just bring over ice coolers, <laughs> everything, pre cooked food already. So like, Amazing. cause if the power cuts right. off. You just throw on candles and flashlights. It's all hang out. And like, you know, it's just like, yeah, it's like a thing. Like, yeah, everyone hangs out because, I mean. What a different life. What else to do? Oh, yeah. dude, that sounds fun. You can't, you're, stuck, you're stuck in somewhere for seven hours, so you might as well party. Right. Like, literally, like, that's happened so many times growing Tsunami up. Tsunami party, wow. guys. Yeah. No, we grew up so differently. Get your yeah, yeah. Hey, You got earthquakes. Earthquakes are terrifying. You don't know when they're this coming. Is true. But they only last, like, seconds. But you don't know when they're coming. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. It can they be, happen, it can though. It devastating or you don't, you don't know. Hurricane, like you see it coming, you know how powerful it is. Yeah, how powerful right. it is. You're, you're sitting through it for like eight hours or whatever it could be. Yeah, it's but a, a, an earthquake is just like, yeah, there's no earthquake yeah, parties. But I feel like you're because no. Raj is from the East Coast yeah. too, so I feel like people who grew up here are yeah. just kind of like, uh, well, sometimes a, yeah, like I a, mean, when I was younger, we had a big one, you yeah, know, yeah, and like yeah. that, and then mm-hmm. a big one in San Francisco. But scary when the when the ones around here roll in, yeah, I'm just like, I, I whoa. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Take it for a ride. Yeah, yeah well, take yeah. it for a ride. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Not you don't know tripping. it's coming, but that's the thing. Is like, 
if you are living in Florida and you aren't don't have like the a very good house, mm -hmm. that is a very scary thing. Mm -hmm. I would say like if you are in, you don't have insurance. Yeah, like, yeah, you don't have a good roof or you right. know it's just not that w good of a house, an older house or something like that. Mm -hmm. Structurally, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Structurally could be scary. But like if you live in a house or an apartment complex, like it's like it's just like a like the big bag wolf with the pigs. Like it's just like you're not blowing down the the brick house. Like it's yeah. not happening. Yeah. All our houses are made of bricks. They make them are just right. they're literally they're not the the roof if it's old might get torn off. And then whatever you might flood, like that's what like when Irma was coming through, which was like our last supposedly big hurricane in my zone, it wasn't as bad as it was supposed to be. Mm. My mom's roof is old and she was freaking out about that. I was like, hey, just whatever, like blow up two tubes from the pool, throw them in the front lawn, like in the front room. If the house blows off or if the roof blows off and we're starting to flood. You hop in the tube, like, you know, like, whatever, like. Hop in the tube? Yeah, like, so float. So that yeah. way you're not in your tube. Oh, right. like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Floating down fucking the street. Hey, better than drowning. Okay, yeah. okay. Floating down the street. How, how was the roof, though? Did it survive? Yeah, everything was okay. fine. Okay. Like, the damn, yeah. it missed us pretty much. Okay. So, like, that's the thing, too. It's like, oh, everyone gets prepared. And, and it takes a left turn 75% of the time, yeah. it one, isn't as bad as it is, or two, it misses you. Gotcha. Mm. So like, dodging a bullet. Yeah. yeah, and that's the thing, too. It's so, like, it sucks for, like, a lot of people in, like, like Cuba and Dominican Republic and Haiti. That's, like, they get kind of the worst part of it. Cause, like, that's before, where it starts. I'm it wondering. starts there, yeah. and it gets super powerful in the Caribbean and everything, and then it'll hit them in the Keys, and then by the time it hits landfall by me it's in my a, area, it's usually not as bad as it was. Mm. It's very, over water. They're very yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why we get like we get them because we're like a small piece of land over the water. Mm -hmm. But like realistically, by the time it hits us, it's already hit other pieces of land that yeah. has slowed it down and mm -hmm. make it not as right. bad. And once if you prepare, then you're not you're not you're not scared of it. Yeah, yeah. preparedness. Exactly. Exactly, dude. You get prepared. Stay, All you do is get food ready. ready. You get yeah. your food ready. You get a bunch of waters and then a bunch of flashlights and batteries. Stay ready. What kind of food get are you ready. getting ready though? Preparedness for, awareness. Preferably you. What are you getting? Uh, me. I mean, you can cook anything on a grill. Yeah, I was just saying like you're, asparagus. Are you just get like a bunch of hot dogs and hamburgers. Or? Nah, mainly like more of like PB and J's uh, and like stuff uh, like that. Okay. More like food that you don't need to like cook up because yeah. like yeah, yeah. you're not supposed to like. I, we have used our grill in the house, which is wicked. Oh, yeah, you're not supposed to. <laughs> you're not yeah. supposed to. Uh, carbon dad, you have yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, you're not supposed to, but there's certain times when a hurricane <laughs> is going on for so long. You're like, we're, we're doing it. Uh, we'll yeah. do it right by the window. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You do it real quick. And then we've done that. <laughs> but then, like, even if you have no... But the main thing you get ready is, like, after the hurricane hits, then you don't have power for a week or something. Then you just yeah, cook outside yeah, on the grill yeah. or whatever. Yeah, so you, you do. Yeah, you just yeah. make do. You make... Yeah. You make any. You can make eggs on the grill. You just gotta put a pan in yeah. it. Yeah. Like you know, really? it's just like there you go. Just yeah, you just make you. You just make do with what you got. Bacon. Yeah. Bacon. And the coolest part too of a hurricane is like no school for a week. Come on now, like. Oh, then you're going skating afterward, huh? Oh yeah, just every, everything. Spots? Everything's closed. Trees are falling down. Sidewalks are popped up. Love like oh, wow. there's spots. Good spots Man, galore. Let's go explore. Steal, <laughs> yeah. we're steal see what's out there. Steal all the street signs you need for the years to come of skating. <laughs> wow. They're all blown off the 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 all blown off the metal signs. Yeah, like every, yeah. signs everywhere. We stole, that, we stole a stop. We stole a stoplight one time. Me and my sisters. It was huge. A stoplight. Try to, yeah. to plug it in. Nah, it was fully oh. broken, but it was just huge. <laughs> my mom was Come like, why the hell do we plug. want this? And we're like, we can fix it. Like, my dad's an engineer. I was like, we, we, me and my sister were like, he can fix it It'd up. It'd be cool in the living room. Yeah, just we'll hang it in. It's probably yeah, as big as that know. bookcase right there. Yeah, they're giant. They're like up to here. Yeah. Yeah. You look at them from afar and you just see this little thing. Yeah, there's a like, little thing close. swaying in the wind. You didn't realize that that fell off. It's literally as tall as you yeah. and will kill you immediately. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, Listen, Jamie Foy, dude, you are incredible, bro. Keep bro. it up, man. Congrats it. on Thanks, the man. whole Dickies oh, thing. Man. Congratulations. Dude. Super stoked on, on everything, the part, man. The Dickies Thank part, you so much. Man. The, the new video, the new Dickies. Got a lot of stuff yes, coming up. Oh, you are killing it. A lot of stuff it, happening and a lot of stuff yes, coming dude. up. You are killing it, bro. Keep it coming. Thank you so much, Jerron. Thank you, coming. boys. Enjoy it. Dude, yeah. thank oh, you so much it. for coming and stopping Fuck and chatting. Yeah, of course. Man, thanks dude. always for having me, hey, man. Hey, come back. Probably will have to. I feel like we didn't talk about a lot of stuff we, we even did, wanted to talk we about. We didn't even cover anything. <laughs> 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 Jamie Foy, everybody. Yes. Huh?